Mike's already here. Better get up my straight jacket. <laughs> we'll see what happens tonight. edition of the Throwing Stones shit show. <laughs> I mean live show. Sorry, did I say that? We're starting off with a bang. Um, this is a hand pan in C sharp minor. Uh, this is made by Asachan in Switzerland. And yeah, we got a great lineup for you tonight. I uh, just got some new rocks priced, and I got a little bit of the sun's hand today because we packed 1,200 kilos of amethyst and palletized it. Sold it to a wholesaler who is going to uh, open the market up. So be on the lookout for some really amazing amethyst with citrine phantoms coming out of Zambia. Uh, we're calling it Zamatrine. I'm sure you'll see it sooner than later. And it's great material, it's really cool. Uh, it's got amethyst and citrine phantoms and also smoky phantoms in there. And when you slice it across the C axis of the crystal, and on the inside it's got these like patterns and zoning, that are kind of like the Bolivian uh, ametrine, that when you slice it, it looks like it's the radiation pattern, but it's got all three colors. It's got amethyst and citrine and smoky. Anyways, that, you, you'll be seeing that on the market here pretty soon. And I got a suntan because we packed up 1,200 kilos today and put it on a pallet to go on its way. So, uh, yeah, we got lots of good things to show you tonight. We got some sujolite. I got rough sujolite that I'm going to show, uh, which I haven't done before. I got a little thing of water over here so I can get it wet. I got some rainbow garnets from Japan and some fluorine quartz and some helolite and some new stuff coming out of zambia and lots of good stuff uh tme you're in deep shit man like you might as well just like turn off the feed because you're gonna want it all and i'm not gonna let you have it all and i'm sure there's people gonna be fighting for it and i wish you the best <laughs> Anyways, y'all are great. Thank you. It's great to see you guys all again. Brian, Kind Night Delight, Zachary, thanks for showing up. Alley Cat, I'm worried about you. Calling me out. And putting me in the straight jacket, you know, getting the psych meds out for all the cray cray. All right, all right, all right. Start with the suja light. Yeah, I think I was going to do that anyways because I got this little um, thingy of water here that I'm probably going to knock over. So uh, let's just get this going. What do you say? I'm gonna start with my here, that little thing to claim. I'm gonna have to call out these some non-paying bidders here pretty soon. Um, not too many, but you know, it kind of drives me crazy. So to claim, uh, let's see, state price and skew, shipping starts in USA at five dollars and international fifteen dollars non-paying bidders will go through the paddle wheel oh yeah let's let's see go through the paddle wheel and i think that's good all right so pin the comment uh, you don't have to keep any site comments to yourself because, you know, I'm going to be a maniac probably in about like 30 minutes when I get warmed up. I'm, you know, we're, getting, we're talking, I'm crazy and see what goes on. All right. Here we go, Brian. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Suge light. Suge light. Woo. All right. So we're going to start with some rough suge light, which this is a very rare occurrence because I do not need to sell rough sujolite in any way 
shape or form because I have really crazy relationships with people who will buy it for a lot more than most people understand and uh, it's a little crazy. Um, Miggy, Miguel, I'm glad you got your shipment. That's awesome. Everybody from last week probably got their shipment except for the non-paying bidders. Flork, you're off the hook because I know I've been trying to show you some stuff. But you are one of these uh, on my table today and I'm going to get you settled up and show you some stuff. Anyways, yeah, there is a couple non-paying bidders. I'm going to get together with some other Instagram uh, sellers and I think I, you know, I don't really want to be a dick, but I am very much the kind of person to call out people for being jerks and non-paying bidders absolutely ruin the vibe of live shows. And yeah, so we're not going to talk about that because I'll, you get me all gone, I'll get all mad and shit, I'll start talking about them teenagers telling them damn Moldavite's fake, the shit happened again this week, couldn't believe it, I got one more. She didn't write me back, but I was like, man... Y'all crazy. Oh my god, I don't feel my don't feel my mold of eyes. It's fake. I can't feel it. It must be fake. You don't know what you're doing. It's like, man, you got you ain't got no damn experience. I've been I've sold like three million dollars worth of Sujulite. You heard shit of Sujulite. Mold I ain't sold on three million dollars of mold. Of you you got you've seen mold of like once in your whole life and you're like, oh my god, I can't feel it. You must be selling fakes. It's like <sighs> I swear, every single time we have a show, I'm going to have to talk shit about these people because it drives me nuts and I have a really hard time containing myself and being nice and explaining it to somebody that my experience is extreme and we got 20 years experience. We've been calling out fake Moldavite around the world for like five years and half the pictures online are from fake that are fake Moldavite on Intervision Crystals and other people. It's like a lot of that came from my travels in China and all over the place. And sometimes I buy fake Moldavite just so I can show everybody what it looks like. And these people are like, you're selling fake Moldavite. The water is so that you can see what the rough looks like when you polish it. So let me show you one of these. So this is what it looks like when it's not polished. And then this is the water brings the color out. So when you polish it, it's going to look like that. And so that's why we're doing that. Uh, I'm going to try not to make a darn mess over here. Uh, all right, so here's some Sujulai. That first one, I didn't even talk about this shit, man. Here's Sujulai. That one's $78 right there. It's 13 grams. Y'all better buy it because... Look at it, Sujula. It's like gold. It's purple gold. I swear, if if I had a billion dollars worth of Sujula, I could sell it in like three seconds because it's Sujula. And it's like it's a stone of dreams. It's a stone of manifestation. It's just it'll it'll make you manifest like don't even think too much about it. It's just gonna pop in your boom. There it is. All right, you're all right. I didn't even didn't even take thirty minutes to get me up in there. So I'm in there, 12, 23, 55 dollars. Going once, y'all quit. You don't fight over it now. Going twice, going three times. I'm gonna raise the price then. If y'all don't want the hair, it's 50, 60 dollars now. Going once. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna get crazy, y'all. That are new, I have, I'm warning you. Um, we get a little stupid around here, just because you know. Half this is just me being stupid because I can't see y'all and I'm just like trying to come out of my shell and, you know, it's just fun. Polish pieces tonight, Ashley B. For Sujolite, I have some cabs that we showed last week. I highly recommend you go look at the show, uh, at the live show last week because I showed an entire batch of cabs and nobody bought any except for Flork and one other person. What was her name? Um, Pegasus? I don't know. Somebody. I know. It, there was a nice lady who bought a piece too, but most of the I learned showed like all these pieces and they're all good and nobody wanted to buy them. And, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. So this is all like quarter inch slabs here. You know, you can polish it and cut it and do it up in there. So that one there is eighty five dollars. This is like purple gold. This will turn your dreams into purple gold. It's like all you gotta do is put this under your pillow, and you'll just be dreaming like you wouldn't believe. Oh, I got a story to tell you. So this week I sleep with Moldavite and Sujolite under my pillow, and about four or five nights ago, 
I took the sujolite and the moldavite out from under my pillow for the first time in like six months. And uh, the next night, nothing happened the first night. And the next night, I had a, I had a crazy old dream about moldavite. And I dreamt that I was at a moldavite conference in the Czech Republic with my buddy Mike from Intervision Crystals. And we were at a Moldavite conference, and then, you know, nothing really much happened when we went to this market afterwards, and we used to just buy, we were buying all the Moldavite, and it was just like, I woke up, and I was like, damn, we bought all the Moldavite, man, we didn't leave nobody's shit, man. And there was this Moldavite, I swear, it was about this big, it was an icosahedron, it was like 60 grams, and I was like, how the hell you get a 60 gram icosahedron cut shape that means the darn thing had to be like 120 grams before it started which is you know that's not even really real but it's a dream so anything can happen so and then you know i picked it up and i was like whoa look at this icosahedron i have to have this because icosahedron's in my business logo and this and that and then i was looking i was like wait that's actually a bear it just like turned into a bear head and then i woke up and i was like shit dang moldavite you know, ruin your damn life you're not careful I swear, TikTok, TikTok would tell you, Moldavite, it's going to ruin my life. It's going to ruin my life. You get Moldavite, it's going to die. You're going to die because Moldavite. I can't help but make fun of these people. N-S-N-I-S-Y-A-6-T. Man, that's a hard, that's a lot. All right, we got a bid here, Nicole. All right, so if y'all don't hear me call out your bid, that means that... I didn't see it, and you're being shadow banned, and so write it again and use some emojis and stuff. So, and Nizia, Nizia 60, Nizia 60, this is you. I got you. You're a, you're a new customer, so please go and send me a DM right away so that I have a way to get in touch with you so that we don't have any non-paying bidder issues because um, sometimes it's hard to find people. So this, did you get that? N-I-S-Y-A-6-T. -S Thank you for getting us started. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know, TikTok, did you see that shit? Why they started going off on Carnelian? I was like, I mean, we sold 150 damn Carnelian bracelets in like two days. And I was like, what in the hell is going on? Something must be happening on TikTok. And sure as shit, they were talking about Carnelian. And you know what they were talking about? They were saying there was this lady. She was like, man, bitch this and fuck that and blah, blah, blah. And she was being all crazy. And she was like, that hoes, this, 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 man, man, man. Man, I got that Carnelian. And I was about to get laid and this, this, this. I was just, man, what the hell is this crap? She don't even know what she's talking about. She got like two million hits or something crazy on this video. And then all of a sudden, everybody in the damn world wanted Carnelian for like two weeks. It's like... TikTok is so weird, man. These people don't even know anything. Yeah, you buy this, you're going to get in love. You're going to get laid. You buy Carnelian. It's just like, no. People just make this shit up, I swear. Anyways, we're back to the Sujulai. There's a manifestation of dreams. And is that one? $75 there. 1218 And if I offend anyone, I apologize, but tough. Because that's just what happens around here. Um, I gotta entertain myself and y'all ain't standing here so you know I can't be like shy and shit because I'm by myself and you know y'all are just some words on the screen so it's not like you're even really here but buy my rocks make sure you know that uh, you buy my rocks and stuff and then I know you're here alright this one here this is one everybody's gonna want I know everybody's gonna want this piece so y'all just start bidding right now it starts at $110, and I know that all y'all are going to want this piece, so let's fight over it. Look at how jimmy that is. It's like, it's got bust of mine. It's like bust, bust of mine. And then there's Richterite. It's like purple and green, and well, there ain't no green in there. And it's purple and blue and yellow and orange. And yeah, look at that there. Everybody's going to want that piece, I swear. Y'all are going to have to fight over it. And that's L. 1217, 16.4 grams, $110. And you cut a real nice cabochon out of that. Big old thing, you know, you come around here, make one of them teardrop things, one of them free forms, you know, you got this there. That's a good piece, you know. I'm surprised y'all didn't fight over it yet. I'd have been fighting over that one. Everybody seemed to want them multicolored pieces and. Brian ain't got no gel to show you, man. There ain't no jelly jelly. I ain't going to sell that stuff. I got a little bit, but it's like $100 a gram, and ain't none of y'all going to pay it. So I'm telling you what, that there ain't no reason to show any of that crazy gel shit because 
Only the Chinese will pay for that. They're crazy. They'll pay 10 times and everybody will pay for it. I don't even pay for it. They're just nuts. So I don't even really have that much. But, you know, that's how it goes with that really jimmy stuff. I did have some jimmy cabochons, though. So if you missed last week's show, I mean, I know you bought something. But, I, you know, the last week's show had all kinds of good sujolite. I showed like 40 cabs or something. And Flork bought one. And let me see. That's our feline goddess bought one. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. I assume you got your package, and I hope you're happy with it. Yes, the same thing did happen with Moldavite. They just went crazy on there with TikTok, and they said, Oh, my God, TikTok, Moldavite, it'll, it'll ruin your life, but you should get it anyways. King Joseph, this sujolite in the rough here. I had to get it wet so that you can see what it looks like when it's wet. This is, um, here, I only got one piece. It's not wet anymore. This is what it looks like dry. Um, and then when you get it wet, that's what it looks like when the color comes out. What you bought was polished, so, um, Keith Hayes passed away last year? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yep, yeah, R.I.P. to him. That's some sad stuff. Um, yeah, I remember that. He had, he had cancer or something. That's horrible. Anyway, so that one's $61. 12, 16, and I'm glad you got your pyramid. I got one more piece of sujolite to show you in the rough. And if y'all really want to see a bunch of sujolite calves that are cut that I showed last week, I'll show it too. And look at that one there. That one's purple and more purple. And it's got purple stuff in there and like branches and there's a little bit of pink. See that pink, that there, that little spot right there, that's worth a million dollars. That pink, that pink and purple, man, that's that's just, that's like worth a million dollars. It's got a tree up in there. That's a very special dreaming tree. You put this under your pillar and I swear you will have the craziest dreams and you'll wake up and be like, I'm going to manifest my dreams and sure as shit, so I'll do it for you. It did it for me more than one time. So usually I don't have a love affair. It just says, hi. I want to come with you. You need, you need to sell me and manifest your dreams. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. And then it's happened quite a number of times. Every time I have a, I find myself in a pickle and darn credit card has gone up through the roof and can't, I was like, shit, how am I going to do anything with this credit card? It's like, I don't have enough money to pay that. And so Sujolite always comes around right when I need it. You know, one there was one year my tax bill was stupid and I was just, I had to pay so much money at the end of the year and somebody just showed up. And they showed me some sujolite and made a bunch, made made a bunch of money. Yep, twelve twenty three. I'll show you that again. T and me forever. I'm gonna write a song about you. Except I better sing better than that. Daniel forty five. You got? I'm assuming. Yeah, that's the only one at forty five. So this one is Daniel Sturzer. Uh, I know your last name, but it's better than that. But Sturzy, Sturzy. <laughs> Daniel, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for thanks for supporting us. All right, so where were we here? T and me. Here's your uh, twelve twenty three. Let me zoom in. All right, we're gonna play the game anthropomorphism. What the hell is that? We all see right there. I see a blob with some eyeballs. It's like an alien and shit from like a cartoon. What do y'all see? You gotta be something. I see a puppy. Nicole's. Oh, you see a puppy? What the hell you been smoking? I don't see no puppy. <laughs> it's got a head and an ear. And it's a got a head and an ear. Oh, well, uh, well, I could see a bunny rabbit. There's an otter face. Yeah, I like that. That's good. This is what the backside looks like. It's got a little bit of a taper right here. Dinosaur. <laughs> All right. Alien from the Simpsons. Yeah, something like that. Or, yeah, that's what I see. It's like an alien or something. Well, if you spelled it wrong, then I don't know. You need to go back to school. Dinosaur. It's like Dinah. A blobby dolphin. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Anyways, so we're, we, we, we'd like to stop and have fun. And be like, what do y'all see with them anthropomorphism and shit? That ain't, man, that's a big word. I don't even know what that means. It just means there's stuff in there. Is All right. 
Huh? 1220, did she take it? I mean, yes, that was claimed by TV. Did she claim or she wants to see it again? I didn't get the claim. She said, 1223, can we see it again? You get me confused. All right, so I'm going to go back through these again because I don't have that many. That's all the Sujalite rough that I'm going to sell today because that's just what, a baby on acid. Man, you got to crack. Well, what the hell is wrong with you, man? Baby on acid. Man, I'm going to report you to Child Protective Services and shit. Just kidding. All right, I showed you that one again. And let me get this some wet here. Twelve twenty four is eighty five dollars. Look at that. It's got dots, man. It's got dots. It's then some pink dots in there. It's like pink dots in the top and purple dots in the bottom. And then it's like you know this thick. It's like it, it's a quarter inch thick, mate. You could totally like uh, you could cut a cabochon out of it, and you know you could like put it on your third eye. And it'll, like, wake you up, man. And you're, like, you manifest your dreams. See, look at that. Whoa, dude. You can get lost in there. Like, shh. All right, that was twelve twenty four eighty five dollars Don't you miss out now. $85 going once. 12, oh, 11 24 claim. 11 24 I think you meant twelve twenty four. Pretty rock, shiny metal. twelve twenty four claim. Please confirm. $85. Look at there. Look at there. I know you were just buying that because I was being crazy. I mean, aside from the fact it's beautiful and it's got pink dots in there and I was talking real funny like that, you know. All right. Please confirm. 1224. There's no 1124 on the table. I'm assuming that that is a, a typo, but you got it. All right. 1224. Thank you. Pretty rocks and shiny metal for the win what what what's wrong with the rest of y'all you didn't get it that was like the best one of all time except for this one this one's actually the best one yes the accents help for sure if you don't buy it i'm going to talk really funny yes this is my ploy it's absolutely a trick it's a psychological game if you don't if you don't buy my rocks bloody hell i'm going to curse you something and mean foul and do something stupid yeah, all right. So here's this one. This is the one that y'all should be fighting over right now. Um, that one is $110. That's going to make one hell of a big old cabochon. Here, let me zoom out a little bit. That one's got blue and purple. And it'll make your dreams go crazy because of that blue and that purple and then them, them, them yeller. That yeller right, right there, that's very scientific. <laughs> that is very technical term. You can look it up on Mendat. It's called bust mite. You know, like if you bust it, if you, you if you bust it out, you might break your face. Can you trade? Yeah, sure. If you want that one, you can trade. Can I trade my carb for that one? What's your carb? I don't know what that is. Is that like your carburetor, man? Like out of your car from like 1984 or something? Um, Pretty Rocks, if, uh, if you want to trade, you're perfectly welcome to. Just confirm the number and I'll switch it out for you. And like I said, it's got there, showing there in the back. Uh, the one I bought last time. Oh, the cab. Can you trade? Well... See the problem is, is that you made me you made me show that whole tray of cabs because you wanted finished cabs, man. And I believe that Pretty Rock Shiny Metal might be ahead of you. Um, but I got to get a confirmation from Pretty Rock Shiny Metal if he's going to trade, and if he's not, man, what's up with all this trading? Just buy them both, man. You can make some money on that one. You sell it, and you know you just get this one, and woo. Confirm both. Oh, shit. He took them both. All right. That one is pretty rocks. Shiny metal. I'm sorry, Flork. He beat you to it. But that's okay. Um, I've got some other raw. Don't worry. I'll show you after the show. But man, you see what happens there? It's like, it's like staining the sticker and shit. All right. So there's five pieces. Well... I can't count. Four pieces left. One, two, three, four, 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 four. 
All right, that's all we got on the rough. And I may, you might be able to twist my arm to show you some more in a private message, but I do have some more slabs. I'm going to move this um, water off the table. We're going to go to Sujalite beads. Beads. And so here, let me show you this here. This is this one. This is some pretty Sujalite. Cut in 1984, just, you know, that was the same year that the world ended because the New World Order started in 1984. You know, there that guy with, wrote that book about how everything was going to be clamping down and the whole world was going to change and they were, they were, Big Brother was going to come and take over, you know. Well, that was, that, was, that was when this one was, you know, that was when this one was cut. So this one will help you defeat the New World Order. Right here, if you buy this Sujalite, your dreams will come true. You can make you a good, you can necklace, you can make you a necklace, and then you can wear it and graduate a high school in 1984. Shit, you're pretty old. Oh, shit, did I say that? I'm sorry. You're older than me by like 10 years. Do you have to store it in tin foil? Well, <laughs> you probably do, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll make you a tin foil hat if you buy it, don't you worry. Oh, Alley Cat, that's why you're all, you got all them psych experience and stuff. You've been around the block and shit. You probably teach us something. You don't even know what teenagers are like. Actually, you probably have, you, if you have teenagers, they're probably, they're not teenagers anymore. Anyways, we appreciate you being here. You're not old. You're only as young as you want to be. I wasn't even born in 1984. Well, shoot, you might have, you might have missed the New World Order then. You got lucky. Anyways, there is a nice, Moldavite, uh, Moldavite, shit, I'm <laughs> fucked up already. This is Sujalite, all right? The don't don't forget, Sujalite. Re, re, re. Um, so that was 100 bucks. 1227, that is made in Hong Kong in 1980-something, before China was even doing anything and cutting any rocks. All of the manufacturing was done in Hong Kong. China wasn't even open to the world then. They were just like, oh, you don't want to have our goods. Oh, you, fuck you. We, you cannot have anything from China. We're not like you. We've come in as a country. That was back then, and now it's all open and stuff. I CrossFit, so I'm better shaped than 30 year olds. Yeah, you probably are. You're probably better shaped than my lazy ass. All I do is sit here and play with rocks all day long. Although I will say I sweated about five pounds today because moving all them darn rocks with 1,200 kilos. You ever move 1,200 kilos? Bet you ain't. You can do CrossFit all you want. Why don't you go try to move 1,200 kilos? You know, people think that this job is great. They're like, oh, you get to do whatever you want. You have the best job in the world. You get to play with rocks. Let me tell you what we get to do. A bunch of rocks come in, and then we open them, and then we sort them, and then we pack them back up, and then we move them. Every time rocks come in, you got to move. If you get a thousand kilos, you move that damn thousand kilos five times, or maybe even eight times, or maybe even ten times. It's like, God, don't don't buy a thousand kilos unless you want a darn workout. I swear, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Anyways, this is a beautiful moldavite. <sighs> Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> what is wrong? I must be wanting to sell Moldavite. Um, this is Sujalite. Maybe I'm getting him confused because I didn't tell you about my Sujalite dream. I had a Moldavite dream I told you about. I'm getting him like wicked confused because they're underneath my pillow at night. It's just like, it's just ridiculous. Anyways, this is like, here, let me show you. That one's 125 L12226. It is a bead strand. You can make a nice necklace. The Sujalite is mined in the Kalahari manganese field in South Africa, and there's the Wessels mine, and there's the Entwining mine, and I believe the stuff from the early 80s is all from Wessels, um, I could be wrong, it's from both mines, but there's two active mines that are open, they are the largest um, commercial manganese mines in the world, and they don't really like people to dig the sujalite out because they have this manganese mine going and they're pulling out like 
10 million dollars of manganese ore every week and these crazy people want them to stop and pull out this purple shit and they're just like that's not the good stuff we want this black shit because we make money on that and the sujilite just causes them a bunch of problems because the chinese are all there and they're going crazy and there's all these mafia and you go there and you try to buy this shit in the area and i swear uh nick stradamus i did not see your claim for the beads please repeat it uh we have to be careful with the shadow banning situation it might it almost is you might as well just like state your claim like a couple times and stuff until you know until i speak it so so far you haven't had any competition so if you can repeat your claim nick stradamus i will be happy to put that aside for you um, I'm supposed to be talking about Sujalite, but I get really sidetracked, you know, talking about weird shit. And anyways, in this mine, they're crazy about this stuff because they don't like it. Because the mine owner's like, we're digging this black stuff. I don't know what you want this damn purple shit for. And so they have all these measures to keep people from digging this purple stuff because they used to go in at night and put it in their lunch box and put it in their pants. And, you know, so now they spray the Sujalite when they find it, they spray it with UV uh spray so that you know they can't dig it and you come out every day and if you got they hit you with uv light and if you got uv color on your clothes you get fired on the spot because that means that you've been touching the area with the suja light and the purple and they and they don't want that because there's mafia and there's all kind of crazy problems with the police and there's just the gangs and it's just a big damn mess man i swear the most beautiful most powerful stones in the world a lot of times have so much drama going on around them because everybody wants them and la 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 and it's just like can't y'all just get along no nick stradamus i did not see your claim spell it out um but if you yeah so uh I, you probably want, i'm imagining that you wanted this one 1226 you can just, if you want to confirm that that was the one, just say yes, and I'll, that's good enough for me. And if it was the other one, then say 1227, or spell it out, or use emojis. I mean, if, you know, damn Instagram, I swear. What are they trying to do? They, they're just like, hey, go connect with everyone. What do you want to give you? We want to get you in touch with everyone in the world, and we want you to do live shows, and this is this. And, oh, by the way, we're going to make it really hard now, so make you try to buy these damn badges and stuff i mean i guess it's worth it but last two one two two six and one two two one gotcha two one two two six all right so i got you for both of them this one and that one nick stradamus thank you very much thank please yeah thanks for spelling out please confirm that we got these two for you Abby O three C. This is Sujalite. Uh No, these are just bead strands. I got you, Nick. Thanks. Stars forever. These are strands of beads. You could turn it into a bracelet. You could turn it in to a necklace, um, yeah. earrings. But you got to do something because it's only got this string on it, so it doesn't have a clasp. You can't. You can't like open it and wear it or anything. You gotta like string it. And before you ask, we don't provide that service, uh, except for maybe like a million dollars. I'll turn it into a necklace for you for a million dollars. Well, I'll do it for a million quajas. How about that? If you can tell me where a quaja comes from, then you get a special prize. I'll acknowledge you for knowing what a quaja is. My buddy Paul in South Africa, he used to say, he used to say, oh, maybe the Quahas. And I'm like, what are you making this shit up for? And it's just like, it's actually a currency. And, yep. Anyway, so this is some good colored Sujalite here. I can zoom in a little bit more. A little bit more. And so we got some purple and some mauve and some browns and reds and purples and this is this right here this is stone of dreams tell you what you wear this to bed you'll never come back you'll just be dreaming you won't even wake up and be like woo i'm gonna manifest my dreams and i don't even need to wake up i'll just live in this simulation in my head 
starting to believe that we're all just sims in a simulation. They ain't, I don't even know if any of this shit's real anymore. It's like, I don't get it. It's just, the world's gone crazy. And what the hell are we going to do about it? It's crazy. You know, y'all got to study AI, you know, with this AI shit. Everybody's like, oh, AI. And they think they know what's going on. AI is like, it's this whole new thing going on. And what people don't understand is that AI is like, interacts with all of us. If you're on social media, you have a virtual self. It's like your fourth dimensional self. And if you aren't steering the AI to give you what you want and what you need in your life, then the AI is steering you and there's hackers and they go in and they hack into the AI so that they can steer your brain because you're not in control. So go look it up, dude. Hashtag Tyler. Time yield loop. Shit, I can't even remember now. My brain stopped working. Oh, look at that. That's a hair. That one there is free. We better raise the price on that one there. This one, that one there. That's a magical charm right there. That's like an African hair from like 1840. I mean, 1984. 18, 1894. And that one comes free, except I just throwed it on the ground. So. Talking, yeah, yeah. Buy this moldavite. It's purple moldavite. You ever seen purple moldavite? I swear it's not fake, mm-hmm. unless you're 15. Tell you what. So that one there, that one's sixty dollars. I don't really know why it's sixty dollars. Maybe, maybe because it's a little darker. It looks more like this. Oh, and, then, and, you, and then this is why I. Should, Comments are shadow banned because I'm crazy. That's probably why. No, it's because of Instagram. Oh, yeah, because of the AI. Well, they're trying to be greedy as shit. That's why I tell you what. That's why the comments are all shadow banned because they're just like, we're going to make you spend money. You know, them badges probably aren't a bad idea. It's like, because, you know, it's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to go to me 70%. It's like, it's it's like, it kind of think of it as like a concert ticket. You know, y'all come here because I'm stupider and shit and I'm talking funny and you know, it's entertainment for the evening, and it's just like, you should pay for that. So you buy them badges, and then don't buy more than one, though, because then it's not fair. It's like people can buy, like, 14 badges and be like, oh, oh, oh my comments come up and yours don't because I have 14 badges. Oh, oh, oh. It's like, the hell, the hell kind of shit is that, man? It's like, I'm going to buy more badges than you. It's like, can they call the comments? <laughs> I don't get it. You know, this is purpler than... Then it should be for sixty dollars. <laughs> it's a little darker. It kind of looks like this to my eyeballs. When I get it up here real close, it's like purple, purple, purple. So sixty dollars. You know, maybe I'm gonna make y'all buy some badges and shit just so, so it's kind of like you're paying your entrance fee to my craziness. Nizia, I got you. Sixty dollars. Appreciate you, man. I, I'm assuming it's man. I can't see your. There's a man and a woman and a baby in your picture, so I'm not sure which one's you, but it doesn't matter. I appreciate you. I got you down. Nizia 6T. Uh, Go ahead and send me a private message that I would appreciate it so that I know that I have a way to communicate with you. Because a lot of people, they come on here and then they don't ever check their messages. And there's no way to reach these, no way to reach people. I still got one last week. I don't understand. It's like she doesn't even look at her messages. like, why you come on Instagram? Female, great, I appreciate you. I'll call you lady. I'll call you ma'am from now on. Um, yeah, I don't know why people come on Instagram and then buy shit and then disappear. I, don't, I will never understand that. It's just like, didn't you know that like you bought something and then you got to show up and like pay for it? Okay. 1223 is the best one. Team me forever. She's just talking shit. All right, well, if you don't like my mouth, I'm going to have to wash it out with soap because, you know, I, I'm sorry uh, if I'm offensive. I mean, that's, you know, can't help myself. Okay, we're moving on. Sujolite, that is all the Sujolite that I have to show you tonight. There is one, two, three, four pieces of rough, and there's two sets of beads. And if you want to see that again, I will show it to you again. But it'll be sitting there while I show you the next amazing thing. This thing you've never seen before, except you probably have. And it's the coolest thing ever. It's called fluorite octahedrons in quartz. And this was found in Madagascar, Madagascar, Madagascar in 2005. This is the only time they ever found it, but... 
They might be fine a little bit more now, but it's not like this. So this is cool. Look at this, how this is cut. We cut this all special and stuff because people just cut them normal and shit. And this stuff grows in planes. It grows like on phantom lines. And you just, it's not easy to cab it. You lose it. And so we had to figure out a way to cut it so that you could get it and reflect it back in here and not lose all the color and stuff like that. So we cut it in this fancy way here. So it's kind of like half faceted, half cabbed. And there's a table, and let me see if I can get really good light on there. So it's purple fluorite octahedras in quartz. This is rare, rare, rare for minerals, for included quartzes and stuff. And it only came that one time, and, well, it might be coming again, but it's not. You're not going to find it because it all goes to China. And anyways, there's this one. That one is $70. Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Telling me I'm happier here. You're telling me I'm not offensive. I'm, I better not be, cause if I if I am, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna make myself cry. I, sometimes I offend myself, you know, because I'm being too not offensive enough, and so I need to change that. Anyways, this one's nice and clear. Look at that. So that would that little white thing in there, that's where there was a fluorite and it melted out. It just like fell out that hole right there, right out the back. I was cabinet saying it just plopped out on the floor and said, ah, I ain't going to be inside of your quartz anymore. Ah. Actually, no, that's dissolved and it comes out there and it disappears and it doesn't it actually didn't fall out. I and mean, I'm pretty sure y'all know that. So there's some fluorite in quartz in quartz. That's pretty clear. Clorts, if you ask me, oh my God, what is going on? So that one's a little bit bigger. That one's 16 kurtz. That one's $120. Look at this here. Let me zoom out. Look at this. This would make such a pretty ring. This would make your girlfriend so happy if you bought that, or you could make it into a pendant. If it was red, you could put it with carnelian, and maybe you get laid because carnelian does that for you. If you watch TikTok, and you know, if you do anything but watch TikTok, it doesn't do that, it just does other stuff. Oh man, I'm gonna make fun of TikTok forever. It's never gonna stop. TikTok is just like, man, you're crazy. Every time I turn TikTok off, it makes me want to throw up. It's just like, oh, there's another 15-year-old trying to be a prostitute. Shit, I hope y'all's daughters and sons aren't on that crap. I won't let my son go on TikTok because I'm just like, yeah, that's a really good way for you to get all messed up in the head. It's like, here, go watch this show. And let's just watch people shaking, shaking their butt for no reason. And they're like, well, you know, well underage. And I mean, whatever, you know, it's like they're trying to exploit teenagers and make them into like sex machines at like 12 and shit this is part of this agenda that's going on it's like y'all are crazy carnelian for getting laid man go watch tiktok man you ain't even heard about that it's just a brand new thing it's like tiktok i got some carnelian and i swear i i just can't have i'm shaking the boys off now because i bought this carnelian and man people just eat that shit up and some girl just made that shit up she got like two million hits this is like tiktok for you he's like you don't even have to be anybody you can just be some girl talking some shit making some shit up and then everybody's like "Ooh, that's really cool tiktok's great Ugh, tiktok makes me vomit anyways there's 12 12 look at that number that's like a master number right there 12 12 that's like Man, you you'll just you'll ascend. You'll go to heaven if you buy this piece because twelve twelve is like magic. You ever heard of that? You know, it's like the stairway to heaven. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, that was more like Legend of Zelda. Sorry, I screwed it up. <laughs> There's a lady who sure all the prisoners. Oh, man, I can't even remember the damn lyrics. And she's buying a stairway to TikTok. When she gets there, she knows if she buys all the carnelian that the boys will be chasing her forever. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get back to it. And y'all have to love these because it only came one time except for that second time that it came. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this this is so cool it's got a table here you know we did this so you could get all these up at the top here you know it's like you try to dome it and you lose it if you dome it it's just like whoops there it goes 
So it's got this nice thing in here. You know, it's got a bezel in here. You could set that into a ring. Look at that. Look at that. It ain't carnelian, but man, that sure is pretty. That's some rare quartz right there. It's a rare quartz. Control device. Let's move on. Yeah, I should probably stop talking about TikTok. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got that one. And I got one more of those to show you. And then I'll go back to acting normal. Actually, if I ever start acting normal, you'd be like, Rusty, what the hell's wrong with you? You need to go back to yourself. Because you just acting normal shit is like, everybody else does that, you know. You, you act normal, it's just like, you're crazy. You need to be crazy. All right. So this one has got a little bit of blue in there and like an octahedron. Look at how clear that quartz is. Shoo-wee. I'll tell you what. That one's 3.5 kurtz. Not 3.5 squashes, but 3.5 kurtz. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're done with those. And we're going to move on to this other thing. This is called Gila Light, but it's spelled like Gila Light, like the Gila Monster. And this is a really rare copper silicate that comes from Paraíba, Brazil. And it's kind of like Paraíba Quartz. And sometimes they call it Paraíba Quartz, but the other type that comes from this mine they call Paraíba Quartz. And I got it as close as I can so that you can see it without being blurry. It's got these balls in there. And this is like really similar to Ahoite, and it's pretty much almost probably just as rare as Ahoite. It's only like one oxygen molecule away from Ahoite. And this is just a crazy copper silicate. I can't get any closer in there unless I put the macro lens on the phone, which maybe I'll do that some night. It's not going to be tonight, but we'll put the macro lens on the phone and then y'all be able to sit up in there and we'll like, we'll go on a journey, man. We'll go inside the quartz, man. We'll just like disappear. Anyways, so I got five of these to show you. That one is $70 and it's got some uh, acicular sprays in there. That's one of them big words that I learned in the field you know i was out there in the field and the cows were like acicular sprays moo <laughs> here's another one this one's really cool this one's cut i don't even know what shape that is it's like a freeform teardrop it's like a yin 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 yang teardrop kind of deal it's got two different colors of spheres and spheres and theirs it's got them white light blue and the dark blue and sometimes it has green up in there and it's got some fingerprints on it. That's just some lines and from my fingers. And yep, so there's there. You could make a piece of jewelry out of it. Like make a ring or make a pendant. And this stuff is the mine has been extinct for over ten years. And every once in a while, a piece of rough will come up. And a buddy of mine had got a piece of rough and cut a bunch of calves, and so I've got some stock. It's not easy to get this anymore. Ten years ago, it was a little bit more easy to get it. And I haven't raised my prices and since that time. It's about the same as what they were back in the day. And let's see. we got three more of these to show you. I'm going to get these fingerprints off of here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Am I even showing the right side? Come on now. That one there, it's got some of them green and blue balls in there. You know, this is the opposite of carnelian. This will give you blue balls. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is called Helolite Nola Schwab. Helolite is a rare copper silicate. Oh, that's the front. Here I am showing the back. Gila, like Gila monster. Gila light, except it's Gila light because it came from Gila, Arizona is the type locality. Let's see if I can get it. In focus there come on now there we go so this one's got blue and green balls in there it's the opposite of carnelian that one there is $85 it is 1203 sorry 1207 can't even read 
Don't even have, well, you know, I do have faceted rubies somewhere, King Joseph. I've got a couple really good ones from Burma. Little ones, like one carat. They're pigeon blood. And it's that crazy shit everybody wants that's went through the roof. And I don't have a lot of them, but I've got a few. I might even have some Vietnamese ones too, but those are heat treated, but they're still really good. I actually haven't seen those in a while. I might have sold all of those. Uh, so this one, let's see if I can zoom in. This one's got green and blue balls as well. And this is a copper silicate. Copper silicates is, are my favorite minerals. And I don't know why. They just gravitate to me. And they said, hey, you need us. Copper silicates are the best. Copper is a conductor of electricity. And the human body is full of electricity. So copper is really good for the movement of energy etc so on and so forth i really wish i know you can see it but look at these look at these sprays here like they're little it's like they're little stalactite slices or something i can't zoom any well there we go I can zoom in only a little bit I, a little bit more anyway that one look that one's like a smiley face see it's like two eyes and a nose mm -hmm. And a big old shit-eating grin is the, the, the edge of the thing. Oh, I'm throwing stones. Watch out. Anyways, that one's 1208 That one's $90. It is Helalite and Quartz. It is from Paraíba, Brazil. And I got one more of those to show you. I do have some other types of Helalite, but I don't have those ready to show you tonight. So this is the last one. It's got... Blue balls inside. It's the opposite of carnelian. It's blue balls. It's very good for you. Copper silicates are like they they like it's like vitamins. You know, it's like you get the best stuff in the world right inside a little quartz. Quartz is an amplifier, so copper and quartz together is like really good for you. You know, it'll move your energy. It's like, you know, it'll heal you and it's good for you and it's really pretty and it's rare. It's a good investment for a number of reasons. So, you know, buy my copper silicates because they're really good for you. It's my excellent marketing scheme. You, you just buy it because I said so. Mm. Anyways, that one's $150, and I'm sorry that they're expensive, but that's how they go, because they're rare. And the mine has been finished for 10 years, and that's how it goes. Okay, we're going to recap. So we got four pieces of rough sujolite, and this is what it looks like dry. And this is what it looks like wet. And 78 bucks. And this one. Uh, you know, I think there are, on the last one, I do believe they're rainbows. Um, we'll go back. So that's another suge there. Um, a lot of these have rainbows. It's like little bits of areas of water on the inside that, like, give it the rainbow. Sometimes it's water and sometimes it's a veil or a crack or something. But you can see, um, let's turn it this way. Yeah, so there's like little patches of rainbowy kind of stuff in there. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. That's the beauty of it, is that it's beautiful. 1223. The Sujalites are available. Yes, they are. Everything is available, my friend. Uh, to claim uh, the proper way, and I will accept your claim is to write that number and the price or just the number, and I will get you to confirm it. So if Plastic Reality LLC, if this is what you desire to claim, uh, please confirm, and I'll put this aside for you, 1218 for $75. And go ahead and send me, oh, you sent me a direct message today already, so I have a way to get that. Uh, but plastic reality, go ahead and confirm that. And that way I'll know that's the one that you wanted. If I screwed up, I will find the one that you do want, but that is yes. the second one. All right. 1218. I got it. Thank you very much. All right. So 
this is dry, sugilite. It's dry like my humor when I talk like this. And then when I get it wet, it's like, woo wee, we're gonna get, we're gonna have a party, woo. All right. For those of y'all that have not been to one of my live shows before, I'm not going to apologize in advance for the ridiculousness that comes out of my mouth. I have to entertain myself, and this is the only way I know how, so um, we're going to talk funny. So this is like an alien blob in here. This is um, super cool. It's like, oh, it's a manatee. Ah. That's what it is. It's like a manatee head with a with a big eyeball. I see. That's an ear. To me. An ear? Is that an ear? It's like Van Gogh. He like <laughs> chopped off his ear and put it in the sugilite. Anyways, so that's that one, and we're recapping again. Here, this is what this one looks like, dry. And then when we get it wet, it looks like this. And this is what it looks like when you polish it. They will definitely cut awesome stones. And that one's got some banding. And T and me, where'd you go? I thought you wanted 1223. I was like, for sure, you were going to snake that one. You're just sitting back and waiting. All right, let's go back. We got some Sujalite beads. This one here is twelve twenty. It's a hundred bucks. This is not a necklace. This is just a strand of beads that can be turned into a necklace. Uh, you want to see the back of it? All right. Here's the back side. It has a little bit of a taper, you know, you could polish it up like that and or whatever. This is kind of cool. So that's the back side there. And one more. This is the next set of beads. Sugilite beads from 1984. During the beginning of the New World Order, the Sugilite will destroy the New World Order. It'll like help you manifest your own dreams. You know, the New World Order, the only thing they're really trying to do, you know what the biggest lie is, is they're trying to keep you from understanding how powerful you really are. That's the, that's the whole trick, all of the scams and all of the scheming going on and everything that they're trying to do is what they're trying to do is get you to waste your energy and to get you to not understand, or to, to, to trick yourself to think that you're not a co-creator. You're actually like God and you can co-create with the, with the big creator of the universe. And that's the trick they're trying to teach you that, oh, you only get one life, mate. It's like you better like party and go watch football and get wasted, man, because there's nothing else to do except, you know, like just fuck off. But in reality, you are superhuman and you have the most unbelievable power that they don't want you to understand. And when you figure it out, then you become a problem because then you teach other people to figure it out that you've got this endless power and that you're one of like super, super like magical beings in the universe. And then there's this thing called the hundredth monkey, the hundred, hundredth monkey principle, where like when the hundredth monkey actually figures it out, then all the monkeys all simultaneously figure it out. And it's like, so we need to help each other wake the fuck up like right now because that's the best way that we can do to like beat this 1984 shit, you know, and it all starts with this sugilite. Like, if you don't buy this sugilite, you're completely <laughs> fucked. You're not going to live very good life. You're only going to live one life. Your reincarnation is bullshit. You're going to get stuck in a religion. You're going to get stuck in a belief system. If you don't buy this sugilite, you're going to have big problems. But if you buy it, I promise you, I'm going to embed all of this positive energy into it. It's going to change your life. In a good way, not like Moldavite, where if you buy it, it totally fuck up your life. It's not like that. It's Sujalite. You put it under your pillow or you wear it and it's going to change your life, mate. I swear, it'll make you understand that you 
are God, that God is inside of you. You know, oh, some people that like religion, they get really pissed off when I say that. It's not that. You're not God. You didn't create it. But you can co-create. If you tap in, you figure it out. It's like, that's the secret, mate. It all starts with Suja Light. I promise you, it, this will help you dream. And I will put good energy into it. This is what my TikTok should be. You know what? I should throw some stones. I'm actually going to have a Moldavite fight on my TikTok. I'm going to take all this Moldavite. I'm going to throw it at people. I'm going to be like, oh, this shit ruins your life. Oh, my God. And I swear I'm going to get like 10 million views in one day because like everybody's going to be like, oh, my God, look, it's drama. Yeah, TikTok feeds on drama. Okay, that was my like... Uh, spiritual lesson for the day. Um, I'm probably not going to spew out anything uh, smarter than that. I'm just going to be s talking some stupid shit now. All right, so there's the Sujalite. Y'all need to buy some Sujalite. If you don't like those, I totally understand. I can show you, all right, the first strand, plastic reality. This is the first strand. So confirm 1220. Is that the one? Please confirm Plastic Reality, LLC. I'm really curious what Plastic Reality is. Um, I will put that aside for you if you do confirm. If, if it was the other one, then we'll grab that one for you. But my right-hand man, lady behind me, has got that written down for you. Okay. 1220. All right. Thank you, Plastic Reality. Uh, let's see. Where were we? I hate the TikTok people who come to my store. Yeah, well... You just got to send them some love, man. <laughs> Organite and resin stuff. Sweet. Oh, my gosh. We have so many things for Organite. And I just got in a crap load of turquoise that's like the perfect, perfect size for Organite. It's like little pea gravel, like little, little bits like this. And we've got little bits of shungite and we've got little bits of moldavite and all kinds of little, little bits Little bits and things, you know, like this. All right. So this is like, we need to move on because it's been an hour already. And I've only shown, I haven't even finished this fucking flat. God, I'm just talking. You got to tell me like, Rusty, focus. you're focused. Show us some more rocks. You're just talking shit. Um, all right. So I'm going to show you some uh, Japanese rainbow garnets now. And... Dun, dun, dun. So these uh, these only have one skew, but I'm selling these individually. They are each thirty dollars a piece for these two little guys. So this is going to be twelve oh three. There's a number one and number two. Okay, oh, come on. Where are you? What's going on? What's going on? All right. So this is Japanese rainbow garnet. Yeah, I will. I'm happy to um, DM with you, Plastic Reality. I've got all kinds of crazy good stuff for Organite. Um, yep. Yeah, so these are thirty bucks each. These are Andradite garnets from Japan. They are considered rainbow garnets. This is like, it's like gold, man. Look at that. It's like gold colored uh, thingies. Yes, yes, earrings. Make a pair of earrings. It's like gold garnet. It's like you, you can't get any better than that. Unless I start talking like an Indian, it might get better. I might get bored. So I might have to do that a little bit later. Anyway, these are $30 each. If you want both of them, I'll do 50 for the pair. You could make a pair of earrings. Look at that. Um, these rainbow garnets I buy in Japan, I've gone to Japan like 22 times or something for exhibitions and we got the best booth and like the best mineral shows in Japan. And, uh, when I buy these, I buy these from the miners and they bring them inside of little Coca-Cola bottles. Like these little tiny Japanese sized plastic bottles are like this big and they like, you know, it's like this little Coke bottle full of these things. And I'm like, well, how much is it per gram? And they're like, oh, we just sell it by Coke bottle. And it's just like one price. It's like, yes, I bought one Coke bottle of Japanese garnet. It's like, sweet, mate. All right. So there's those. 
Moving to Japan in five months. Oh, man, I'm jealous. That's awesome. I do a lot of most of my shows in Tokyo. Um, but I've also been exhibiting in Kyoto and in Osaka for the last handful of years. I haven't been to Japan since December of 2019 for obvious reasons. And But I have people who do my shows for me. And uh, gold balls, you got to go to TikTok and ask that question, man. <laughs> you know, you probably get some, some something. I shouldn't even finish that sentence. All right. Rain, yeah, my wife is gr- like cringing over there in the back. She's like, dude, stop talking about that shit, man. Anyways, this is an awesome cluster of Japanese rainbow garnet. And yeah, feline goddess, if you have any questions about Japan, it's not like I know tons, but I have been there a lot and I have some really good resources. I have lots of good friends there. Um, where are you are you going? Are you moving to Tokyo? Or are you going to be going out into Western Japan? Or where are you headed? Because they're like two different worlds. Western Japan is like a completely different country than Eastern Japan. Anyways, 1202. This is 60 bucks. This is a wicked piece. This is awesome. Really nice color. Sasebo. I don't even know where that is. So I can't help you. <laughs> Um, no, but if you do need any help or resources, um, feel free to reach out. I definitely have a lot of connections in Japan. All right, so this is another cluster. This is just like, look at that. It's like showing all the colors and stuff. It's like rainbowy. It's doing all the thingies. It's like Japanese stuff. And this one is like this big here, and this one's a little bit more expensive. It's got bigger crystals and good color. That one's 175. Let me see if I can show it a little better because I'm not showing it very good. I'm just talking shit. Blue Lace Baby, thank you so much for buying Aho White. Aho White is amazing, and I'm really glad that you love your piece and that you got it from us. Aho White is my. My love affair is with Aho White. Um, Aho White loves me, and I love Aho White, and we're doing the best to try to have a great relationship, and hopefully one day I'll be able to bring more Aho White to you, and we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so here's another one. This is another Androdite Rainbow Garnet from... Kose mine, I think is how it said. And it's about that big. And this one is $50. Should probably move a little bit faster so I can show you more stuff. I haven't even gotten through the first box yet. I've just been talking a bunch of smack about things. All right, look at this one. This one's like sparkly. Yep, so I got to say... This stuff is way, way nicer in to my eyes than it is to the camera. The luster and the amount of light and color that is pushing back to me when I look at it with my eyes is way better and more vibrant and m- more brilliant than what you're seeing in the screen. And the only way for you to know that I'm not lying is for you to buy it. And if you don't love it, you can send it back. I don't encourage that, but you know, if you just absolutely hate what you buy from me, I'm not going to cry. You can send it back and don't make a habit of it. But I will say that most of the stuff shows up better in person than in your hand. So this is an awesome piece. It's a hundred bucks. You could wrap it. It's got enough there on the back. Uh, it's, it's, Stuff flakes a little bit, but no, it's not too bad. In Nagasaki, awesome. There's a garnet floating on that one? I don't understand. It's all garnet. You mean on the back? The whole thing is garnet. Right near South Korea. Nice. Cool. I hope you have a great time. Um, Japan is really cold in the winter time, especially that far north. Um, but it's an amazing place. It's definitely the safest place 
on the planet as far as people go. Um, pink garnet? Uh, let's see. Pink one. Anyways. So that's all the rainbow garnet that I have to show you. And so to recap, we got Sujolite. We've got rainbow garnet. <clears throat> Helolite. Fluoride and quartz, and I'm still not done with the first flat. I'm amazed, but I only have three flats tonight. I have some, actually, I have some backup flats, but I made three flats this afternoon. So I'm going to move that over there, and that'll still be available. Yeah, Super 7 and Hydro, man, you got a killer, that one with that bubble. That bubble moves really nice. It's super awesome. Uh, okay, what is next? Oh, yeah, this. This is ridiculous. So I've got five opal pendants to show you, and these are just super. And again, these are not going to be nearly... Uh, I shouldn't show that one first. These are not going to be nearly as amazing on the camera as they are in hand. So I'm telling you right now that these are way better in person. They just... The camera does okay, but... The eyeballs do much better. So this is really nice quality Ethiopian opal. These are all very alive. I have this as a stock photo listing on my Etsy. And these are the ones that I picked out as uh, much more alive and much better quality. So these are the best quality out of a huge parcel that we bought. And I have a bunch of these coming as well. We will be offering this as one of our main lines. Oh, and it's a good time to, to say that we launched a, a new website today. Um, what is the website? Opal Stones? Opal Crystal? I don't know. We launched a new website today. And we put a huge blog, like a 20-page or 30-page blog, on our uh, Throne Stones page. So go check out the new blog written by Shirley. She did an excellent job of compiling all kinds of amazing information about Opal. And we uh, are going to be advertising and offering lots of Opal jewelry that's on the way. And Opal is the number one selling stone on the internet. And this is why. That's why. It even comes with a little song. So there's that one. That one's 75 bucks. That one is crazy, and it's definitely much nicer than you see with your eyes on the camera. This one is a blue-based opal. You can see the opal itself. Uh, the properties of opal, are they're, they're all over the website. Uh, it's literally like 30 pages. Um, it's got history. It's got types. Uh, we probably need to add some more photos. We did all of our in-house photos. We're going to probably have to go find some photos to like uh, to diversify a little bit. Uh, but there's metaphysical information. There's historical information. There's uh, information about types and all kinds of stuff. So the camera is showing you a good deal of what's going on here. And this is just ridiculous. Look at this. Whoa, dude, hold up. Look at that. Wow. Hold up. Like, a lot of color. what's going on here? Tina Cooper, 1202.75. Uh, I'm going to go back here. 1202 is... 1202. Where, where's 1202? Um... What's going on here? I see your claim. Uh, 1202 is 60. 1202, Tina, is 60. That's why I was thrown off. So you're getting a... What a deal. Amazing. Look at that. You got 20% off just because it was marked that way. So Tina Cooper Ryder got 1202 and 1201 for 175 That is an awesome claim. This piece is amazing. And I'm telling you, I don't have to say it again. These are way better in person. All of this fire stuff. Um, yeah, so back to the opal. This is redonkulous. Like, I love it when you get here and it's just like, it's like fire. And obviously they hang this way. 
and it's about this big. They're not huge, but they're beautiful. And I guess I should show this one. I've been showing it enough. So that one is 75 bucks, 1190. And I guess I should put this here. So we've got 1189 and 1190. And I'm going to save the best one for last. Um, I've got three more. The next one is this one, and this one is Pinfire. Wait, is it Pinfire? Yeah, this one's got a little bit of Pinfire Opal. And that's super alive. It's got a lot of life to it. All the opal that I'm showing has lots of life. And if you if you don't like opal, there's you have a big problem because opal is amazing. If you cannot see why it is amazing, then you're blind. Mm. And if you're blind, we still love you. It is okay. And we are very sorry if you cannot see the opal fire. But if the opal fire will show up in your mind's eye. This is very beautiful. $75 for $11.97 is here. It is waiting for you. And the next two are mind bogglers. So this has got lots of pin fire going on in here. And let's see how close I can get without it going out of focus. So it's like I turn it one way and it gets some colors and you turn it another way. It's like, look, there's like this fire going through the middle. It's like spaceship. like It's like Starship Enterprise, like hyperspace, ready? Interdimensional transportation. It's like the wormhole right there, ready? Let's go into the wormhole. And look at the light. Look at, I love the aqua watery color in there that's just like amazing and again this is like way way better in person i can't explain and express that enough to you this one is 1196 it's 110 and that is one of the best ones and then this one the last one that i have to show you this one's my favorite this is like seriously pin fire and it's just got a lot of stuff. Oh, oh, that, oh, oh, that was not, that was not the Starship Enterprise. That was a fucking light. <laughs> Stupid Rusty. God. Look at how blue that is. That's pretty, Rusty. Yeah, this is just full of life. Full of life. And I think this one should probably be 110. I've got 130 written on it. I'll do this one for 110. I don't think that one's better than the one that I just showed. So I'll always change it here. That way we don't get confused. 110. All right. So I got 11.98 for 110 and 11.96. Those are my two personal favorites. They're all really good. Like I said, these are all selected out of a big parcel. $11.97. Uh, we're going to do an Opal Pendant giveaway too, probably next week, just to like celebrate the new uh, domain that we're going to be launching. Um, we've got all kinds of domains that we've been purchasing and building out. <clears throat> if informational content domains. Uh, I think it's opal-stones.com. Somebody, somebody share. Somebody share. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Oh. <laughs> so opal. opal I can't even read. Thronestones.com backslash blogs, news, opal. So go and read the blog. Don't do it during the live show because you're going to miss all the good stuff. But when you're bored and you need something to do, go read all that amazingness. Uh, Shirley spent a good part of a week. And it looks really awesome, and there's lots of great information. All right, so those are the opals. And I haven't seen a comment in a little while. You guys still there? There's 24 of you. Better, I know you're still there. All right, so the first flat is done. Okay. Let me just leave it there. I need something to drink. Okay, let me move this stuff over. Mm, just push it back there, and, and when I am ready to move it, we'll move it. 
Yeah. All right. So we got some opal jewelry that we showed you. And there's some other stuff over there. And the next thing that we're going to show is some mineral specimens. Um, I got some interesting mineral specimens that I pulled out. And let me grab my UV light just in case there's some UV, uh, except there's too much light here to see it. But so these are mineral specimens from Namibia. And there's five minerals on each one of these specimens. And I will highlight them. This is fluorite right here. It's like two colored fluorite. And then it's got yellow muscovite. And then all of these white crystals are goshenite, which is like colorless aquamarine. And then there's black tourmaline there and there. Yeah, scanning over the opal pendant quickly. You want me to do them again one by one? Um, here. Opal pendants really quick. Highlight, that one's 75, 1189. That, it's, yeah, again, I, I'm not gonna repeat myself a million times in regards to how much better they are in person than what you're gonna see on the screen. Um, gosh, I'm doing a terrible job now of showing you these. So that one's 1190, this one is 1197, that one's 75. And 1196. This is for Jetta. Six uh, Rocket 2. Here, let me show this better. This is just like... Come on, light. That's super. That one's 1196 for 110. And 1198. I changed the price. is also 110. This one's like ocean blue. It's pinfire. And... I did a much better job at showing those off the first time I showed them. If you want to claim one of those, please speak the number and we'll get it aside for you. Okay, so back to mineral specimen situation. Uh, there's five minerals going on here. Um, let me see, there's a little bit of UV, but not with this amount of light. I have to turn the lights off to show the UV. I'll do that in a minute. There's a little bit of UV reaction here. There's probably some highlight opal. So there's five minerals on this one. And this one is $80. Goshenite, the mother of barrels. Yep, that's pretty cool. So these Goshenites are really amazing. These are like the best. It's probably my favorite Goshenites. So Jetta 0619, sorry, 1197. I've got you on that. Thank you very much, Jetta 06 Rocket 02. If you would please send me a private message or a direct message, I will have a, an open line of communication to you. We are trying to make sure that uh, we stay in good communication with everyone uh, so that we can get you your items and you can get us paid and all that good jazz. Um, so Nicole 1197 is Jetta 06 Rocket 02. That's, that's one name. All right, back to the Goshenite here. So since the Goshenite is the mother of all barrels, you gotta check this out. This is a bunch of Goshenite all in here, and this is fluorite right here, and yellow muscovite, black tourmaline. This is highlight opal. Let me see if I can, if this is enough. Um, yeah, see, there's the highlight. And that's UV reactive. And is there any on the front? I've got to turn the other other lights off to really show the highlight. But this is super aesthetic. It's got a nice crystal in the front here and little crystals on the bottom and a couple of fluorites and some black tourmaline on the back. How do you tell the difference between Goshenite and Phenakite? Is this a joke? This sounds like the beginning of a good joke. Um, TG Tickets, yes, we have Wellow Opal in the background. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we have Opal Pendants. So this one's 100 bucks. Um, Phenakite is supposed to melt ice. So that's one way that you can tell the difference. And it has a very different shape. Uh, Phenakite, when it grows in an elongated form, um, 
TG tickets, I'm going to go over these really quickly for you. This is $11.89, 75 bucks. This one is $11.90. These are much, much nicer in person. Um, and everybody else has already seen these like three times, so I'm going to try to go quickly. This is Opal Pinfire. It's got all the colors you could possibly imagine, and then some. That one's 110 and these are all in sterling and <clears throat> this is blue pin fire that's also 110 forgive my chicken scratch right there so those are the opal pendants uh, we, we will have more but that's what we have now i got moving right along we got two more mineral specimens with a, this one's got five minerals on it as well and this is fluorite on this side and black tourmaline here look at that Terminated black tourmaline going on there. This is all Goshenite included with Siderite. So we got Goshenite, Siderite on the inside, um, Muscovite on the outside here, Fluorite on the outside, black tourmaline, and is there any highlight? Just a little bit of highlight on the side. I have to turn the light off to show that. But So there's technically six minerals, but there's not enough highlight for me to get excited about it. Anyways, that one is a hundred bucks. And last but not least, this is my favorite one. This is just ridiculous. Look at how many minerals are going on here. It's again, there's five minerals that I counted, unless there's highlight on the back, which there's a little bit. So technically six minerals as well. Um, yellow muscovite and purplish green fluorite, which when you backlight it, the light's kind of washing it out. The phone's not catching it, but it shows a little bit better. And then we've got uh, goshenite with siderite. And that one's a really nice balanced specimen. The fluorite's in the center. That one is 150. So those are the four multi-mineral specimens that I have to show you tonight from Irongo. And next up, we have some crystals from Japan. Uh, these are called Marimo crystals. Marimo, I can't remember what it means. It means green balls or something because there's like little green balls inside. So it's got some uh, growth interference lines going in here. It's like got this tremolite tornado kind of thing in the center of most of the crystals. And then it's got little cookite, cookite balls or chabasite or there's a f people fight about what it is. The mineral people go crazy like, oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. So I don't care what it is. It's pretty. It's a mineral. This is all growth interference lines. This is where it competed with calcite, I believe. And then the calcite was removed and the lines remain on the quartz. And this is a fairly large specimen for the location. This mine has been closed for a number of years now. Uh, every time I go to Japan, I buy a few of these, and they are not that easy to come by. They're getting fewer and farther between, and they're getting more expensive, and the quality is going down every time I see them. In regards to what I have available, uh, or not what I have available, but what is available to me every time I go to Japan, it's like, it's done. They keep, you know, It only comes out of collections now. And look at the, look at the, what you call it, <clears throat> cookite balls in here. And all kinds of tremolite needles. And we got some quartz. This is a growth interference line. There's some cookite on the bottom or on the outside, not just on the inside. And that one is also $100. And there's Lake Norman Kitties. I bet you that's Laitney. Laitney. Laitney's my niece. She likes rocks. All right. So here's another. Um, oh, this is the last one. The last Marmo. And this one is amazing. And it's got some... Cookite balls in there and a trimolite uh, tornado in the center. Lots of really cool inclusions. And it's got some stuff up in the top, whatever you want to call that. 
It's like some schmutzite. Schmutzite is a very technical term. You can look it up on Mindat. Uh, schmutzel, schmutzelite is a, a, a subset of schmutzite, and it's um, very, very popular in uh, mineral inclusions and in quartz. And if you can't tell that I'm joking, then we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, so I have to be on my best behavior now. It's <sighs> what a shame. So I've got three Marmo crystals that I showed you. There's four multi-mineral specimens here, and there are four opal pendants in the background. If you guys want to see that again, that will be at the edge of the table, and we are going to be moving on. Right after I crack open one of these sparkly things and take a drink. You guys have been pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. Am I gonna have to get crazy? I'm gonna have to stop talking crazy again and get y'all excited. Okay, I only have one of these to shit. Well, I have lots of these. This is uh, Tess and Habit Quartz from North Carolina, from the North American ha North American Emerald Mine. And these are super, super cool. This was mined um, probably eight years ago. And it's double terminated. <clears throat> it's a floater. Well, almost. There's a part here that's an attachment. But this is all double terminated here. It's got mica on the inside right here. And it's got some red rutiles right here. Let's see if I can show you that. Red root, ru they call them rudels down here in the south. These rudels, <laughs> it's like rudels and caboodles. And this is a Tessin habit crystal, and Tessin habit is defined by a taper from the bottom, from the top to the bottom, so it gets wider at the base. And that's not the only defining characteristic. A lot of times, Tessins will uh, be tabular, which means that this is uh like this axis here is really long and this axis is short uh, that is considered tabular so that's just a technical term for quartzes and this one has got really good luster and really good parallel growth going on here and it's double terminated and it's got the mica and it's got the rudels and it's just a pretty crystal and it's Pretty good size. It fits in the palm of my hand like that there. And that's the only one I have to show you tonight. I do have some other North American Emerald Mine Crystals. But this is one of the randoms that was in my drawers. And this is Purdy one. That one's $125. I got three more, four more, three more crystals. The unusual crystals to show you is... This is a Cathedral Quartz from Brazil. And look at all the growth going on in here. So we got, this is crystal time. We got our crystal hour. We had sugilite hour and we had multi-mineral hour and we had opal hour and now we got quartzes. Quartzes and quartzes and quartzes and quartzes. Don't forget about them quartz crystals. Look at all that growth. That there's some pretty growth. Yeah, buddy. I tell you what. Shoo-wee. That's the prettiest thing I ever darn seen. That's some smoky quartz with some cathedral growth in And it's like growth on the side. And it's growth on the bottom. Look at this here. This bottom there has got all this growth in. You see that? That there's growth in. That's growth in. Right there, look at that's pretty. It's double terminated, it's etched. That there, I'm I'm gonna call that in a floater because I don't see nowhere where it touched the wall. I'm pretty sure that one just floated there and like in the pocket. It's just like, woo, I'm floating. Anyways, that's a pretty, 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 pretty. Probably should be a lot more than $160, but that one's $160. I thought about putting $250 on it because I think it might be worth that, but I'll put $160 on it, and so hopefully you buy it. And if you don't buy it, well, then my feelings are going to be hurt. And I'm going to go home and cry all night 
Because y'all didn't buy my pretty crystals. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to eat them. Okay. Just kidding. Y'all don't feel no pressure now. If you don't like my crystal, you just don't say nothing at all. And if you hurt my feelings, I'm going to cry. Okay. Amitrine. Check this out. This is from 2000 and... Shit, I don't remember when I got that. 2003 or 4? 2004. Four. This is, this is old, old, old. This one's from Gold Condo. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Citrine, like you wouldn't believe. Citrine will give you, make you rich, man. Citrine is like that money stone. So it's citrine with a secondary growth of amethyst. Amethyst. Look at there. I'm calling it amethyst because it's like citrine and amethyst and citrine. And Amethyst. And look at that. Look at that. I've had this piece since 2004. And it was in my collection for a long time. And then I took it out of my collection. And I'm going to sell it. But yes, it's from Brazil. It's from the Golconda Ranch in Manus Gerais. And that's a pretty crystal right there. And it's got a pretty a pretty price, too. I put 350 on that one. It's palm-sized. You definitely don't see those very often. I haven't seen one in a long time. Where it's got the citrine and your amethyst. They should call it citrathist <laughs> instead of amitrine. I like that better. Citrathist. That's a mouthful. Okay. So... That there is one of them other pretty quartz crystals that I have to show you tonight. And I got one more that's coming out of my collection. And it's it's pretty. I don't know why I sell my collection pieces, but, you know, every once in a while it's just like, well, shoot, can't keep them all. This one I bought in Tucson at the End Suites in like 2008. Oh, I shouldn't show you that right away. Let me show you this. Let me show you. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Check it out. Check it out. Shoo-wee. That there's pretty, pretty, pretty. This is from China. It's got hematite sprays up in, like, on the outside there. And it's got some hematite up in there and some other hematite up in there. And some hematite up in there. And this is just some one of them hema, hematite or courses. And this one came out of my collection too, and I got, I put 400 on that one. That one's really aesthetic, and I don't know why it seems like I don't have enough light today. I just keep feeling like there needs to be more light. I don't know why I got so much light here. It's just crazy, but I'm not, it doesn't seem like I'm. There we go. Now my screen's turned up. I can see. <laughs> oh, look, there's more light. It's no wonder. Okay, so y'all are seeing that better than me. Look at this rainbow here. That's like a triangle rainbow. That's like, shooey. That's like a record keeper rainbow. You ever heard of that? I just made that up. Record keeper rainbow. That's like fancy. That there's a fancy rock. So, you know, if you want a piece of history coming out of the Rusty James Throne Stones collection, I'll write you a label. It says it's from my collection. That'll make it worth about a million dollars. You know, you hold on to it. And then when I die, everybody will be like, oh, my God, you got something from the Rusty James collection? Man, shit, that's worth a million dollars. Just kidding. My wife's laughing at me. She's laughing at me because I'm being stupid again. I'm just talking shit. Sorry. I'm in... I'll try to act normal. I hope my niece ain't watching anymore because, you know, I'm got a dirty mouth and stuff. My my sister's probably like, Rusty, you ain't shut your damn mouth. You're going to teach these kids all this crap. Okay, so that's all the quartz crystals that I've got to show you. Actually, no, that's a lie. There's other quartz crystals, but not in this flat. So the rest of this flat is a really awesome, crazy Libyan desert glass. It just came in. Like, I just got a parcel in that's like, what? I didn't even, even, I didn't even know it came that good. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So this one is 40 bucks. And this has got the osmium and iridium, which is like the things that gives it that extra color in there. It's almost got a green hue to it. 
those are platinum minerals. That's how they know or they think that they know that it came uh, from um, uh, from outer space and shit or something like that. Them scientists will probably yell at me and be like, you don't know what you're talking about. I'll be like, well, you know what? No, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just reading. I'm just a parrot. That's what they said online. I and mean, everything you read online is, is true. You know, like Carnelian, it'll, it'll, you know, make you have a boyfriend and shit or girlfriend if you drink Carnelian. <laughs> 1242, Jet 06. I got you on that one. Appreciate you. Jet 06, Rocket 02. That's like 10 4, good buddy. All right. So I got four or five more of these in this size. And then I got some huge ones. And the huge ones, I'll tell you what, that's the best darn things I ever darn seen from this there Libby Desert Glass. So this one's all complete in here, and it's got this color. It's got this nice sh shimmer to it, and it's got the osmium and the iridium. Give it that color, so it's like nuclear, man. It's platinum. You can just crush it up and make a fortune. Take the platinum out and be like, dude, I got metals, man. It's like so cool. Anyways, don't crush it up. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's 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 in a much nicer form in this way. So this is. Twelve forty one. This is ninety dollars. Thirteen grams. Thirteen grams. And when these came in, I'll tell you what. Shirley wanted to buy them all. She's like, "I'm just going to take all the best ones." And I was like, "No, you can't take them all." But I did save you one, Shirley. Just so you know. Look at this. This is like a dragon head. You see that? Here's the yeah, mouth. Here's the top of the bridge of the nose. And there's an the eyeball there. And there's a booger right there. There's like an eye booger coming out. You know, like a dog when it has eye boogers come out of his eyes. Look at that. That looks like a dragon. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Oh, man. I should keep that one. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm a fire dragon. And born in the dragon of fire year, you know, like fire dragon. That's the year that the Dalai, the Dalai, Dalai Lamas, they all get the Dalai Lama out of the fire dragon year. That's like the, that's like the best year. So, you know, if y'all ain't born in 1976, y'all can suck it. That's the best year you ever seen. Hooey, just kidding. All the years are great. I ain't going to try to pretend I'm any better than anybody else, but I sure can talk funny. And look at that. That's like a dragon, space dragon. If y'all don't buy this, I'm keeping it. That one's eighty dollars, twelve forty two. Ready, go. Ready, go. Go. Come on, it's a race. Shit. Twelve forty two. Oh god, dang it! Twelve forty two. Twelve forty. Don't listen to me. Just read. Don't listen to my voice because it's just full of shit. But there's, you can read it right there. That's why I hold it up because I'll may I'll screw it up if I tell you what it is, and then you just find it on the screen. Twelve forty. Two. See, that's a two right there. <laughs> uh, anyway, that space dragon there, that's $80. I should probably keep that one, but I don't need to keep nothing. I got enough rocks in my head anyways. Okay, here's the next one. This one here is like a curved thing of a bopper. It's probably a tool. That's like a flake. Ooh, is this going to... No, that ain't, that, ain't a, that ain't an angel chime or nothing, but this is a flake. You know, like when people don't pay their bill or we call them flake, like flaking out, you know, but this is like a term for like uh, uh, arrowheads, you know, like when they're making arrowheads, it's like they call it flakes. This is like a paleolithic tool and they take this and they scratch it and they take the skin and they cut the skin off something here. These old, you know, really ancient people when they killed like a rabbit or something, even if they or a dinosaur, you know, like let's play with the dragon right here. You just slice the skin open right here. Like, I'm going to kill you, dragon. I'm going to eat you for dinner. They use this their tool right there. They get this tool here, and it get all. It was in the sand, and it got all sand, water washed sand, and you know that's how it got all them them uh, textures on it. And it's got that iridium and osmium, platinum minerals and stuff. And Kate SWC said at Nizia sixty. Um, I don't know. Did did Nizia make a claim or something? Or y'all just buddies? 
These are Libyan Desert Glass, and it's got them pretty colors in there with osmium and iridium. That's what gives it the them colors in there, and it's in, it's in pretty colors. Those are them platinum minerals, and that's how we, we think it's from outer space. You know, in platinum, that's like $2,000 an ounce and stuff, and so that's six grams. There's not six grams of iridium in there, but 1239, Nizia, okay. I got you. Uh, maybe that's what uh, Katie was saying over there. Is you probably claimed it. I'm, I'm glad you... I don't know if you claimed that more than once, but uh, I got you that second time. Thank you, Nizia. Yes, you you did get that one. We appreciate you, and we're sorry you got kicked out. Uh, I didn't do it, but I got you on that one there. And we got two more small... Living Desert Glasses. And if you just arrived here, I'll have to show you this one again. Look at this dragon. There is a dragon. There's a mouth right here, and there's an eyeball, and it's got a big old nose right here. That's a space dragon, and that one is $1240, $80. Okay, the next one. The next one is very pretty. This one is very special. Look, it's got them balls in there. Cristobalite. It's like cristobalite. It's like the balls, the white balls in there. It's like cristobalite. Look, so it's got a greenish color, and it's just like Jimmy inside. And you know, when I start talking like this, it's like that means it's the best piece you've ever seen. And that's when I start talking lots of shit, and you should probably buy it. It's got a little blemish there, but you know what? We all have blemishes. It's like a zit that got popped. You know, we all have blemishes. If you didn't have a blemish, then you're not human. You can't be perfect, so, you know, look, it's got a little thingy there. It's a beautiful piece. It's almost like a skull of something or something, you know, like a skull with a long nose, like an anteater skull. That's what it is. It's an anteater skull. It's got, like, an eyeball in there, and it's got that cristobalite, you know. It's like cristobalite. You must like that stuff. It's, like, the best. All right, so that one is 12.38 and it's 60 dollars ignore my handwriting here this is rubbish all right so going once going twice i'm gonna put it down here y'all can see it fight over it <clears throat> i think that one's one of my favorites of the small ones that one's super cool and one more small ish one Let's see what kind of anthropomorphism we can find on this. This looks like a, a Nautilus shell, you know? You kind of, like, see the twist here. I mean, it's not really twisting, but it kind of looks like a Nautilus shell or like a conch shell. You see that? Like a conch shell. And then it doesn't really have the hole on the back. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Or a, a lizard skull. lizard skull. It's got the cristobalite in there. <clears throat> it's got the... Osmium and Iridium coloration. These are like green. It's like green desert glass. Super, super cool. Definitely not the most common desert glass. And this one just almost feels like a fossil. It's pretty cool. And you can see what's going on in there. What's going on in there? So that one is 17 grams, $125. Horrible spelling. I don't know. Did I miss something? I might have missed something. All right. Uh, we might not have seen the comment. Mm, last comment. I mean, uh, Pretty Rocks is saying, sorry, Cayman. Sorry, horrible spelling. Oh, Space Cayman. Gotcha. All right. I'm, my brain's moving a little slow now. Cayman. This one? Yeah, it's kind of like Space Cayman. All right. So, now I've got six extremely large desert glasses that are like there's not even enough A's to describe how many A's there are in the quality grade on these <laughs> so 
So these are not cheap, but they're ridiculous. <clears throat> so look at the size of this thing. Look at the quality of this. This is like a space rock. I mean, look at this. This is just crazy. Look at the color on this. This... Was that thunder? I don't know. It sounded like thunder. Just look at this thing. This is crazy. This is such... This is the best... Some of the best desert glass that I've ever seen. It's just unbelievable. Look at all the texture and this, like, bright yellow color. And, yeah, this is just top, 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 top grade stuff. This one is 92 grams, $450. If you are serious about desert glass, I am showing some of the best that I've ever had and definitely some of the best that I've ever seen. Uh, there is good material out there, um, but this is some of the best. So I'm going to keep moving on. Uh, all of the remaining ones are in the 300 to, I think there's one that's like 800 bucks, but you can see why. Look at this. This is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's thunder. Yeah. Look at this craziness. This is just s superb. I mean, the texture is like, what? I mean, this has got to be from outer space, right? I don't know for sure. And the scientists will probably yell at me, that's no, not from outer space. But you know what? I don't care what it is. This is amazing. And some people, they diss on the glass. Oh, it's so ugly. Why is everybody so interested in this glass? And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, yeah, I know. Some of it's, you know, it's kind of boring. But look at this. This is not boring. <laughs> this is ridiculously cool. Very, very amazing. Top quality. One, two, three, four, five A quality desert glass. It's like glassy. There's a little blemish right there. Don't we all? Anyways, that one is... 87 dollars sorry 87 grams and 400 dollars not 87 dollars that would be foolish all right <clears throat> next up this one is like yellow gold it's a heart it's almost a heart it's got a little thumbprint in here and it's just so pretty it's the prettiest desert glass ever. And this one's not the prettiest, but look at this translucency here. You can see my fingers behind it. It's amazing. And 75 grams, $300, $4 a gram is not bad for a quality like that. My retail price on this kind of material is usually a lot more, but these are big pieces and we're trying to be really fair. When I put these on the Etsy shop, it'll probably be more. So if you want one, you should buy it now because I'll probably put them up a good bit because I don't know if I'm going to get more like this in a while. But look at that. Look at that. If you like desert glass, this stuff is amazing. If you don't like desert glass, then stuff it. Mm. Just kidding. If you don't like desert glass, you're perfectly normal. Oh, look at that. It's like, it's a, it's like a rhino. Or something, a hippopotamus, like, but with a smashed head. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see that? Look at that. It's like a thing. Duck. <laughs> a duck. It's like a duck. What are you talking about? I don't know. No, that. you don't. What are you talking about? Look, from this direction, it looks like a hippopotamus mm -hmm. with, like, a half a head there. And look at that. Yes, yes, it looks like the moon. It's kind of like the moon. Hey, what is that? What's going on there? I didn't even notice that before. That's pretty cool. It's like one of them thingies in there. It's like yellow balls. Yeah, that's a pretty special piece too. So, that one's 400, 1231. And got 
two more, and then we can move on. We are officially halfway done with our live show. Check this one out. This is even bigger. Like, look at the size of this. That's just ridiculous. Look at the look at the color. It's just like yellowish green. Can you see the ametrine again? Yes, you can, madam. I would be happy to show you the ametrine. Ametrine. So there's amethyst and citrine. This is from 2004 from the Golconda Ranch in Minas Gerais, Brazil. And it's two stages of growth. Come on, light. Let me get here. I'm trying to give you the best light here so you can see this amazing citrine coloring. And this is all double terminated. And it's got a secondary growth of amethyst. And this came out of my personal collection. Uh, I called it um, a year ago. This is the only ametrine of this type that I have. I do have some other ametrine. I don't, I'm not going to be showing any of theirs tonight. I'll have to prepare some for you. Um, yeah. So I don't actually have, well, I have ametrine slices. I could show that in the future. Yeah, this piece is crazy. It's just like super nice. Double terminated secondary growth of amethyst. And um, bring this back around. This one is 350 coming out of my personal collection. Sorry, Emily the Fay. 350. $350. And for those of you just joining us, this is the Throwing Stones Variety Show. The Zamatrine is not slices, it's clusters, and I actually just sold all of it to my friend who's going to be displaying and distributing it, but I have actively been working in the mine. I do have a few pieces that I've kept. They all come in clusters like this big, and I will show a few of those in the future. I didn't keep a lot of them because I needed to get my friend a good deal, and I needed it for him to really like push the market for it. Um, I put an excavator. No, we didn't use an excavator, but I've been um, working the mine in Zambia for the new Zamatrine. Yes, comes with a label. That one comes with a label that says, this was in the Rusty James collection, and it's worth a million dollars. Just kidding. But yes, I will write you a label. Claim 1228. Awesome. Emily the Fay. Wow. 1228 Amatrine. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful for you, Nicole. Uh, uh oh, shit. There's two people now. The first claim that I see is Emily the Fay. I apologize. Happy KJB. I did not see your claim. And Instagram sucks. I really dislike when this happens. Um, Emily the Fay is the first claim that I did see, so I think I have to go with her. Um, and I dislike when that happens. I apologize. I will have to find some other good amatrine to show you in the future. So this shadow banning thing, yeah, I guess not meant to be. I appreciate your positive attitude happy kjb thank you um you know we could always go and do the whole badges thing um you know we could figure out a way like i know that the badges like 30 percent of the badges goes to instagram and 70 percent supposed to go to me and i don't really agree with the whole badges thing but if it's gonna help like we could figure out a way to work the badges into like the price of shipping or something so it's like if you have a badge if you buy something i'll give you a discount on shipping or something like that um we may have to go that route i know the shadow banning is really annoying i thought about going to a text method where you guys could purchase by text but I think the problem with that is that a lot of people watch these live shows on their phone and to switch um, 
from the app to your texting app, then you lose the feed and then you might miss some stuff. It's kind of annoying. You'd have to use desktop and uh, phone at the same time to do that. So Nizio, the badges thing, Instagram has this thing now where they're shadow banning comments and they're not letting all the comments come through. And they're trying to create a paywall so that they can make money on these live shows, which I understand that, you know, like they're not making any money and they're giving uh, us a free platform to do this. So yeah, I can't necessarily disagree. I don't really uh, like it. But so they have this thing where you can purchase badges and 70% goes to the seller and 30% goes to Instagram. And it basically unlocks the shadow ban for your comments. And yeah, some of the comments that I've responded to, you haven't seen. Yeah, they don't. They get banned in weird places. So we have multiple phones going at the same time with different accounts, so that we can try to avoid that. Because if it sometimes it doesn't show on my phone, it'll show on my wife's phone on the other account, and we've actually caught some claims that way. Um, so yeah, we may figure something out like the texting thing if you're all using your phone and having to go between apps that's kind of annoying um we could do that or then i'd also have to have a second phone which i do to like receive the claims but and maybe we'll do the badges thing i don't know like we can just add it you know if you purchase badges and you end up purchasing an item then you know we can just factor it into shipping or something because i don't need to make money on the badges um, but they, you know, that might be the way we have to go. Just the pay to play thing. It's just the way the internet's moving. Anyways, this piece is ridiculous. I know it's expensive, but look at it. It's like one of the best Libyan desert glasses I've ever seen. And yeah, so I was talking about a bunch of other stuff and not about that rock. I don't know if you guys are really like digging on these glasses. Um, and I understand, you know, if it's like out of budget or whatever, then by all means, appreciate it. And let me know if you love it and you don't have to buy it. This one's got a little bit of a blemish here, but this is probably one of the best quality pieces in this batch that I got. Like you can see my fingers through it. It's like, this is just ridiculous. Like I love this piece. There's just something about the coloring and... Yeah, it's just really yellow. Super, super, super. And there was two other ones that I didn't actually... Oh, no, they're standing over there. I didn't prepare them with um, with skews, but let me show you this one. So this is <clears throat> 750, 131 grams. Super, super, super. And I'll show you the other two. I didn't put skews on them. Um, these are two that we made individual posts about like check this out this is the roundest desert glass that i've ever seen it's like a golf ball um, but it's not like totally round but um the this quality not in the 200 range i don't know if you missed some of the other parts of what i showed like i do have some this is like in the 125 uh, i might have some in the 200 range uh, of this quality that or that I didn't show because I know there was a few that I didn't prepare but most of them were either really big or they were like this size this is one of the larger ones in the small category um, this is also super amazing it's got more of a dark material and I guess I will recap here yeah that's what you beat me to it Nizia here's the dragon this is uh Come on, Space Dragon, it's got like the mouth here and the nose, and it's got like the eyeball, and that's definitely wicked cool. That one's 80 bucks, 10 gram stone. That one's super neat. Um, this guy right here, again, there's no skew for this one, but this is the roundest one that I've ever seen. And that's just a crazy stone. And I put a crazy high price on it just because I love it so much. And then this one, this one's a couple grand. And this is just nuts. Jetta 06 sold dragon. 
good claim. Thank you very much. Make sure to send me a message. And so this piece is the biggest one by far and the greenest one. My wife was like, don't sell that one. And I was like, yeah, whatever, I'm going to sell it. Can't keep them all, but this thing is just ridiculous. It's so big. I don't even know what weight it is. What weight it is. I think it's a hundred and... No, it's a lot more than that. Can you bring me a scale? Yeah. And this one is almost... This is also like a dragon. Uh, 12.35 and the one next to it again. Let me see. 12.35. So 12.35 is this one. KDS... WC, Kate SWC, sorry. Um, super, super glassy, super texture, really great color. Awesome, awesome piece. That one, 87 grams, it's $400. And the one next to it is this one. This one is. One, two, three, four, three hundred dollars, seventy five grams. And also really glassy. You can see my fingers through it. Super nice stone. Really amazing. And while we're at it, I might as well recap. The rest of the big ones. This one also amazing stone. Twelve thirty-five. Kate S W C. Thank you very much. Very grateful for you. I've got your claim on that. You got that one. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And so we're recapping all of the monsters. And look at this one. This has got a bunch of the Cristobalite on the inside. And I love how it, like, disappears on the angle. It's almost like it's going through in, like, needles in one direction. It's like you can't can't see it there. And then you can see it there. <laughs> My husband will kill me. We won't tell him. Don't worry. I'll just send it with, like, a... I'll send it saying it's worth, like, an invoice that's worth, like, ten bucks. <laughs> What's that funny meme? Like, if... Uh, if my husband knew what I actually spent on my rock collection or wife or something, it goes both ways. It's like, there's a funny meme out there. I just butchered it really bad, but, um, yeah, these are great. This quality, there's no telling if they're going to find a bunch of this, like this is just crazy good. Most of this stuff gets soaked up really fast and it's hard to get. And I got lucky to get a nice little parcel. Twelve thirty one is four hundred dollars. And send it with a note that says, Congratulations on your winning. Congratulations <laughs> on your free gift. Thanks for participating. <laughs> Whatever you want me to do. <laughs> uh look at this one. This one's a little bit more got the brownish blackish color. Um, Nicole, will you write that email down? Uh, we definitely will direct message you. We also will email you if we don't hear from you. We will be sending, we send invoices tomorrow afternoon. Um, <clears throat> those are basically links to our Shopify and we create a listing for you and you check out through our website, which makes it super easy and shipping is calculated and all that stuff. So this one, obviously also like super, super glassy. This one's a lot thicker than some of the other ones, but you can still totally like see my finger through it. And this, I mean, this is just like a moon rock. This thing's so cool. That one is four fifty. It's ninety two dollars. And I guess we'll just go ahead and recap. Uh, you can send your email if you'd like. Send it in a private message instead of here because the comments disappear and Instagram doesn't give us the comments afterwards. 
Uh, send us a direct message directly to our page. That's the easiest way. And we will direct message you. So please check your Instagram messages. That's usually the way that we send the information on how to check out. If we don't hear from you, we will send it to your email. Uh, a lot of people don't check their Instagram messages as often as we do. And sometimes that can be frustrating because we're like, hey, we communicated with you. And some people don't check for days. And Emily the Fay, how much is the ball? Um, this one. I have been telling people 750 on the ball. It's 89 grams. Um, I could probably do a little bit less. Thank you, Kate. So the ball, I priced it a little bit more per gram than the other ones. It's just a really unusual shape. It's like, I've never seen one so round before. I'll do 700 on this one, if that is of interest. Doesn't have a skew, but if you just say desert glass ball, I know what you're talking about. All right, Emily the Fay claims the ball. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm sad to see it go. So this one's 700. It doesn't have a skew, so make sure you write that down. Thank you very much, Emily the Fay. That is an amazing one. It's 89 grams. Nicole, will you write that down too? 89 grams. I really thought about keeping this one, but obviously, I'm gonna sell it. Look, it has like an eight here. For eight eighty nine, it's eighty nine grams, and it's got an eight right there. How cool is that? I wonder if there's a nine on there. That's awesome. Thank you so much. That is a great claim. I'm really really happy for you. I literally I've seen thousands of kilos of this material, and I've never seen one like this. And luckily for you, I don't really collect this. I should rethink keeping it. It's too late. <laughs> Desert glass. I mean, I love desert glass. Don't get me wrong. I have a few pieces, but I don't. I don't really have it in the collection. It's not something that I'm keeping a lot of. Um, it, honestly, if I'm going to keep one, it'll probably be a, a heart because <laughs> my wife loves hearts. Throwing LDG balls, LB LBD balls. There you go. Anyways, um, Emily the Fay, thank you so much. I'm really happy for you. That is one of the coolest desert glasses here. And so back to this last piece, you know, I don't, I don't expect anybody to buy this, but tell me this doesn't look like a lizard face or something like two eyes or like a, it could be a dragon face too, but it doesn't have a long nose. But I mean, it would, we'd need another part here to have this be an eye socket, but like wow. these look like nostrils. It's like a gorilla almost. Look at this. It's like gorilla nostrils. Mm -hmm. And the big deep eye sockets here. And this thing is just ridiculous. Like this is like, this thing is huge. Mm. Let me weigh this. I think this one's like almost 300 grams. Anatomical heart. Yeah, actually. Kind of looks like an anatomical heart. It is 290 grams. Wow. <laughs> Pretty crazy piece, huh? Pretty crazy piece. And the color is just fantastic. It's just like, what? This is awesome. Very cool. Expensive rock, but pretty awesome. I'm glad that I can share it. <clears throat> and if you guys really want this one, I will figure out the best price that I can do. It's definitely four figures. 290 grams. I know you want to buy me. I'm a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all the desert glass that I have prepared tonight. I do have a, another flat of smaller pieces of desert glass that was prepared a while back that I've shown before. If you're new, I'm happy to go and show you some of those. Um, oh, so I was in the process of recapping all of these. So this is my favorite small piece. And this is just like about as jammy as it gets. And look at this. This is wild. Super cool. 
and it's like a tooth. Yeah, anyways, this one is 60 bucks. And I'd kind of be surprised if one of you guys doesn't claim that because that's really a fantastic piece. And we'll go back to this one. This was the Space Cayman. Space Cayman. That kind of looks like a face. There's a long eye here, and there's like a long nose. Kind of like a Space Cayman. It almost looks like a tooth, too. That one is 125 Mallard. Yeah, I could see that. Nose is a little too long, but no, I could see that. It almost looks like, from this angle, it almost looks like a fox face, too, mm -hmm. with the long snout. The nose is a little yeah, too like long. A, a rodent skull. A rodent skull. It's a muskrat. Mm -hmm. It's like a muskrat skull. Live in desert glass muskrat skull. And it even has this, like, skull type of kind of feature back and here. Yeah, socket. eye socket. <clears throat> Anyways, that one's twelve thirty seven hundred twenty five. And last but not least, one more time for this piece. And that one's pretty cool too. I don't know if we see. I don't see anything in this one, but I'm sure if we look long enough, we'll find something. <clears throat> And again, it's got the osmium and the greenish color. That one's 90 bucks. I have a good bit of smaller green Libyan Desert Glass. So if that's something that you want to see, send me a direct message. I've got stuff that's probably 20 bucks and up. And I think I have something in the $20 range. So if all of these are cost prohibitive and you want to see a smaller one i have some really good green ones that i didn't show um i'm happy to show those by direct message okay gonna move some stuff out of the way so we've done sujolite and we've done opal jewelry and we've done helolite and fluoride and quartz and Japanese rainbow garnet, Japanese marimo quartz, multi-mineral with five minerals per specimen. We have a couple of collection quartzes, some ridiculous desert glass. And that is everything that I have shown you tonight. And it might be time for me to get a little bit crazy again because I haven't talked crazy in a little bit, you know. Y'all miss y'all miss me. Miss me talking crazy. Alright. So what do we have next? We've got some witches fingers and some limonite quartzes and some Japanese law twin quartzes that are so cool because they've got phantoms in it. Who's ever seen Japan Law twin quartzes with phantoms in it nobody because they don't find them until recently it's a totally new find we're not going to do that one yet let's do some witch's fingers first try to go through these pretty quickly flock if you're still with us i hope you're paying attention because i've got some good witch's fingers but i'm happy to show you some other ones i have a lot of these and they're beautiful crystals with lots of thingies going inside look at that it's like a whole thingy going, it's like a party going inside, going on inside the quartz here. And it's got all these other thingies. Oh, look, that one's double terminated. Shit, I should change the price. Just ignore that. <laughs> Just kidding. Look at that. Double terminated. Uh, I'm not showing you because I'm being an idiot. I'm not even paying attention. So it's like there's quartz going on. There's a termination here with like this thingy, like this barnacle quartz is going off the side. And there's another termination and a termination. And it's like amazing. Witch's finger quartz comes from Zambia. It uh, gets its name from someone because it has these warts on the outside. This one doesn't have it. But like th there's these mica balls that grow on the outside. And like when they were first found, somebody was like, that looks like a witch's finger. So they call them witch's finger quartzes. 
And they're pretty cool. They have actinolite and tremolite and mica and zelwingite and all kinds of there's there's a whole list of things that are in there um moldavite tonight i don't have any moldavite prepared dylan w um i do have a flat over there that's been prepared uh, let's see how it goes if i get through these two flats um i will i maybe i'll get into some moldavite it just depends on how much time we have. I've got an hour and a half left. So this is Witch's Fingers. Double terminated. Floater. Complete all around. That should probably say 35 or 40 because it is complete. And I didn't notice that when I priced it. And that doesn't matter. It's super awesome. Yes, thank you, Dylan. Appreciate your time too, brother. Thank you for being here. Happy to educate and or show and teach whatever I know. So this is another witch's finger. It's got some mica inside and it's got some schmutzite, you know, that's very, very technical term. Schmutzite, that one is $35. It's going up here. We're going to move quickly for this one. And I'm going to show you this. I'm starting to get into my funny talking mode again because I must be getting bored. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not bored. I'm showing rocks. Rusty, stop being an idiot. You're not bored. You're playing with crystals. How could you be bored? So there's thingies in there. It's schmutzite. And it, I don't know if there's any squigglite in this one, but squigglite is a very technical term that I coined, and they put, they put it on Mindat. They said, this guy made up this new mineral. It's called squigglite, and it doesn't mean shit. It's just a little thingy inside that looks like a worm, but... You know, I coined it, so it's like my claim to fame. Look at that. This is all complete here. It's nice growth termination, and it's got secondary growth here, and it's just a pretty quartz. It's it's nice. It's got them squigglite. No, it doesn't have squigglite. It's got the schmutzite. Schmutzite, $40 for the witch's finger quartz with schmutzite, and it's got... It's just waiting for you to take it home. If you're a witch, you have to have one of these quartzes because you can't be a witch without it. If you're not a witch, it might turn you into one. So I, I don't know if I can recommend it. You know what? It's a funny story, actually. Uh, in 2004, no, 2005, we brought, no, mm -hmm. yeah, 2004 in the in Denver show. In the, in the September in the Denver show, we had this witch's finger quartz, and it was the second time we brought it to uh, uh, the mineral exhibitions, and we were the first ones to bring it to America. And we brought it, and there was this metaphysical guy, and he came to the show, and he's like, oh, what is this? And I was like, oh, it's, uh, it's witch's finger quartz, and, and, and we're trying to get a name out there for it, and nobody really knows it, and you seem like a really nice guy, and, you know, you like metaphysics, so I'm going to give you one. Here, you can have it. And he's like, oh, okay, thank you so much, brother. I'm really grateful for you. So, and then he went away and we were dealing with some other people. And like 20 minutes, he came back and he said, fucking hell, man, this quartz is a shit, man. It's like, it's making me feel like crap. I have to give it back to you. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? He's like, I can feel the bad energy from the people who dog it. And I was like, oh, you got to be kidding, man. You got to be kidding. I gave you a witch's finger quartz. Don't you know how to transmute the energy? You're supposed to put your good energy into it and you take all the bad energy and you clean it first and then you make it into good energy. Sheesh, man. So I'm not telling you that you should buy this quartz because you'll be a witch. But, and I'm not saying that it's got bad energy in it, but back then, this guy was just like, oh, man, this quartz is like, it's messing with my head. And I said, oh, fine, I'll take it back. And I cleansed it. I put it in the sink in the in the bathroom and I ran it under the water. And I said, all right, there, it's finished. And I sold it to the next guy. And he was very happy with it. It's a funny story, yeah? You give someone a crystal, they bring it back. And they said, no, it's, it feels bad. I can't do anything. Oh, this one comes with a hair. That, oh, man, that one is a free hair. That is like, this one is worth a million dollars. Look at that. That is the best extra bonus you'll ever get on a quartz. <laughs> ever. D don't forget. It's like, it's, it's perfect. See, look, we're just going to highlight that because it's the best part of the quartz. No, it's not. Don't worry. It's not one of those hairs. It came from the top of my head. Okay. Jeez, you dirty. Don't be dirty. 
All right, all right, all right. Come on. All right, go on now. You've got to have some humor. Tina Cooper Rider, $25 DT. I'm going to make it 35 just because you're my friend. Just kidding. I'm not a jerk like that. It says 25 You tell me, shut up. It's 25 Rusty. Don't be a jerk. Thank you, Tina Cooper. Ryder, I appreciate you. That is an awesome claim for 25 bucks. Yeah, so Crystal with the toupee. So look at this. Uh, you know, the hair was distracting from the hair on the inside. But, like, look at this. This is so cool. This is the coolest. This has got a Lemurian shape. It doesn't have too many lines, but it's kind of got a Lemurian type shape, which some of them have that. I want one like that, but with junk inside, you mean like this? Look at this stuff, bro. It's pretty. You want an ugly one? I know you want an ugly one. That's fine. So, you know, some people just want the ugly ones. But this one's killer. There's a couple more, Flork, that you might like. They're bigger. They do have schmutz on the inside. So these crystals are witch's finger quartzes. They are from Zambia. There's four more that I have available or that are ready to show, Flork. Don't worry. Uh, of course, I told you I had more, but I haven't opened them yet. I have to open a bunch of them. I have a, an outstanding order for someone, and I can, I'll can i make sure I pull some more aside for you. But I do think you might like the ones that um, that I've got shown or that I'm about to show. But this one is ridiculous. I should probably stop like talking and flapping my mouth. and like It's a little bit more expensive, but look at this. That's like so cool it's super clear and it's got all that schmutz inside it's schmutz in a, and it had a toupee on the top i could probably find it for you if you wanted it and that one is there it's a beautiful witch's finger quartz it'll turn you into a witch i don't recommend it if you don't want to be a witch <laughs> Watermelon tourmaline. I don't have any of that to show tonight. I could show the ones that I showed the other night, but I'm trying to show different rocks. I know everybody's like different, like new people are coming every time. So I'm going to have to uh, go back and show a lot of the stuff that I've showed before, uh, which is good because there's sometimes where it's just like preparing this stuff is the hardest part. And I'm always like last minute, like, oh, I don't have anything new, but I've got a bunch of flats over there that I've already shown over the uh, last few weeks. And for those who are new, a lot of that is going to be new, even though I've shown it before. So this is a heavy stone. It's like 150 grams or something. And that one's 100 bucks. And Flork, here's a couple more. Ah, this one's probably too clean if you want the schmutz inside. Um, but this one is, uh, this one's so cool. Also, look, it's got these lines on in here. And it's just like, it's got... A whole crystal garden going on on the inside. Look at that. It's super cool. It's got a rainbow in there in the back. It's got a really good shape. It's got a little left hand face there. And that one's really amazing. That one is 150. And that's because of how clear it is, and it's got a bunch of stuff inside. And this is not very common for witch's fingers. A lot of them are more milky, and they don't show clarity on the inside. So the really clear ones, I picked out some really special ones to show you tonight. Uh, if you want one that's more craggly and not as clear, I can provide those for you in a direct message. Uh, those are definitely less expensive. I've got crystals from 10 bucks to I don't know, whatever price point you want, really. Um, yeah, so there's some more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have lots of amazing stuff going on in that one. And it's a lot of the stuff is in the actinolite family. Uh, it's got schmutzite, very, very technical term. And yes, uh, that did come from GIA. Uh, I had it tested in GIA. They said it's the, it's the schmutzite. It is very rare. It only comes from Rusty James because he's full of shit. And it's a very special crystal inclusion. 
and look it's got a try it's got a, a diamond face there it's like it's like a diamond you know like not like a real diamond but it's like a quartz diamond you know but not like a herkimer or anything it's got a diamond there it's like a witch's finger diamond you could put a diamond on your finger like a witch's finger anyway that one is a hundred it's about this big it's really clear these are the best witch's fingers that i've ever shown because they're super clear and I've got one more to show you. This is definitely a Lemurian witch's finger. Check it out. Witch's finger Lemurian crystal, man. Oh my goodness. Look, 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 my friends. This is witch's finger Lemurian. It is a little problem here, but it is still very good energy. I will show you this here as well. It does the schmutz inside. Flork, it has the schmutz look. It's got this crap that you want inside, all the schmutz and things, and then all the clarity and the other things that you're looking for. It may not be what you want, but I can pretend. And yes, it's this Lemurian shape is like with the lines. It's from Lemuria. They put the codes in here, so it's like they will teach you how to solve the problem of the universe. It's all encoded here. All you have to do is scratch it. Look, look. It's like Akashic record is coming out. It's spewing. All the knowledge is coming. It comes out the tip. That's why this happened here because I'm scratching it too much and it is going crazy and it's. Okay, all right, back to back to normal now. <sighs> this one, one hundred and thirty rupees. Yes, one hundred and thirty rupees. I mean dollars. If it was rupees, I would be sad. Okay, dokie, dokie. So this is all of the witch's fingers that I have been able to muster up the strength to show you tonight. If you would like to see other witch's fingers, I have plenty that I can show you through direct message. So please direct me to the messages. Okay, if you would like to see again, I will keep it here and we will move on. Please show the smaller ones again, of course. <laughs> right as I said that, yes, okay, we'll come back. We will be showing you again one more time. This one is $40 and it's got this extra growth on the side here. And it's got this, let me show you, sorry, trying not to whack the camera. And it's got good luster, and it's got stuff inside, extra schmutz light. That one is 1273. 1273. This one is $35. This one has mica and maybe some siderite pseudomorph type inclusions i'm not really sure without a loop and some study it's kind of hard to know but i think it's got some mica like this kind of stuff is like actually on the inside uh hannah the mala this is from zambia this is witch's finger quartz wfq i always want to put wtfq <laughs> it's like what the what the F is in there, man? All right, so one more. This is another small one. Um, Nizia. Did you miss the beads? The only beads that we showed were Sujolite, uh, Watermelon Tourmaline. I did not show. Tina Cooper Rider, $12.74, $90. I think that one's really special. That's one of my favorites, Tina. That is a good claim. Nizia 6T, I've got you for 1270. You said two, but I'm pretty sure that's 1273. We got some thunder outs. Oh, wait, sorry. No, I'm screwing up. 1272. Sorry. I'm totally. 1272, $30. I'm sitting here telling you, you made a mistake, and I'm the one who's making a mistake. So I've got you on that. And Nizia 6T. And so, Hana the Mala, my favorite one. Uh, the one that Tina got was one of my favorites, and this one is absolutely one of my favorites as well. The clarity is exceptional for this type of material. It's got a little rainbow on the side, and it's got lots of sprays 
and stuff going on in there. Thank you both. I appreciate it. And this one is 150. It's what the finger quartz. <laughs> and it's about that big. And I do I do really like this one also. T and me, if you don't see one that you like here, send me a direct message and I'm happy to show you some other ones. This is truly a Lemurian one. Uh, I think the one Tina got was a Lemurian too. Um, this is really neat. It's just a really good shape. Can you show the point on that one, please? Which one? This one? Hana the Mala? Or the Lemurian one? I hope I'm showing you the right one. Please let me know. There's a little, little tiny face right there. Gotcha. So I am on the right one. Thank you. Let's see. So I'm going to show you the faces here. And... There's a little tiny three-sided face right there. Actually, that's one, two three, four, five-sided face. And I hope that was sufficient to show you the tip. The inclusions are amazing. And I hope that was a sufficient recap on that piece. What do you call the line going up the middle face? Um... Middle face. You mean this? I'm not sure which line you're referring to. Um, look at the geometry going on here, though. This is really cool. I uh, are, are you talking about that one? Same. The one you pointed to. That. Yeah, I don't know. That's a pretty crazy. In interesting termination because this is actually a terminal face and these are terminal faces and so that uh, let me zoom in this actually might uh, this one that one's 150 so this might actually be a very small terminal face maybe i don't know that's not a that's not a very usual line it's actually really Unusual. I'm looking at it with my eyes. I'm trying to get it on the camera too. And it's not broken. It looks kind of weird on the camera, but that's a really weird habit. Hannah the Mala, I got you on that one. Thank you so much. That is 1270, 150. It's not a Tessin. I know it. Looks like it tapers a little bit, but a tessin is definitely more of a tabular crystal. Thank you, Hannah. <clears throat> Appreciate you. Um, I love how it's got. That's just a really weird. I I would, I would, I think it's an Isis, yeah. But it, this line really throws me off. Like I haven't really seen most of the terminal faces usually like pinnacle together. That's a neat one. I love the inclusions on that. Anyhow, thank you, Hannah. I'm really, really grateful for you. I believe that's your first purchase with us, I think. And we are very happy to have you here. Okay. So, again, I have plenty of witches' fingers in all price points. I even have ones like this big and Matrix and all kinds of stuff. So, And I've got little itty-bitty ones, um, you know, like this size, like my finger and whatever. So if you want to see other witches' fingers, I can show some more at another time on a show. And I also can show you those by private direct message. So feel free to ask about those. Do I have a really long one? I, I might. I haven't opened everything that I own in the witches' fingers. Um, I, have, I have a bunch of kilos and a lot of them are at my cleaners. I'm pretty sure I have one that's five inches or bigger it might be it might be pretty thick but i i don't know i'm i have to look but i know i do have something that's got to be that big i would be happy to show more on another show 
Um, I'm going to move on to the next unbelievable set of rocks that you guys are going to love. <clears throat> this is a totally new find. This is Limonite Phantoms in quartz. And it's a bright yellow color. You can see the phantoms in here. And it is from Zambia. And I'm the first person to bring it to market. It's got great luster, cleans up really good. Uh, before, when it had dirt all over it, we thought it was citrine. And then when we got it clean, we realized that there were phantoms inside. And it was actually a mineral inclusion. And I'm fairly confident that that's limonite because it also grows with hematite. Limonite is another iron mineral. Uh, it is an iron carbonate, I think. These only come in clusters, Hannah. These do not come in singles. Um, actually, I guess before I put that down, this one is 35. And they get progressively nicer. Progressively more yellow. They get to an orange color as well. So kind of like citrine. Definitely in color, but you can see how uh, the lines, the phantom grows along the face lines. You can kind of see how you see the line that goes there, the line that goes there. It's just really unique and different. I've never seen bright limonite uh phantoms quite like this i've definitely seen limonite phantoms but this is they're usually much more up at the surface and this is like super lustrous and clear quartz so it's different um i do have a favorite piece i'll show you those in a second i'm gonna do these one at a time that one did i show the price on that i don't know if i did that one's also 35 that second one that one there super reasonable Brand new find. Here's the third one. This is really neat. And here's the phantoms. And you can see the luster is really, really good. And the phantoms are really strong. And this one is 55. And the next one, this one. Jetta, I see your claim. 1266. Jetta 06 Rocket 02. 10 4, good buddy. I got you on that for 1266. Uh oh, I'm picking up hairs again here. I'm make sure I don't show you all those. Okay, so we're getting into the darker ones. So this is, you can see the difference. Like this is a lighter, more yellow, and this is starting to get orange. Uh, there's two more pieces after this that are even more orange. This one is uh, just loaded with limonite. Super luster. Every one of the crystals has a phantom. It's about that big, a couple inches. Almost a heart. If it was, my wife would probably claim mm -hmm. it and be like, no, you can't have it. That's a heart. One of these days, we'll have to come on and show her heart collection. Um, of course, she'll want to buy it, though, and she'll kill me if I sell any of them. So I'll just have to come on there and be like, nothing is for sale, but you get to see all of our pretty rocks. Anyways, this one is awesome. Really cool piece. That one is $1,263.55. It's another fantastic limonite. Does limonite tend to give an iridescent? Sometimes it does from certain localities, but that's usually when it's like on the outside. Um, not totally on the outside because it would melt away with acid, but like from Dalnagorsk and Himalaya also, um, the limonite does create an iridescence. So here's another one. This is a little bit bigger crystal. It's not a bigger piece. Um, the, my favorite one is the one after this, but these are getting better. And really nice material, huh? Like, look at this quality of this. This is just amazing. I kept a few that hopefully I get more. I haven't unwrapped all of the ones that I have. I'll do that at a later time. But there's some that also grow with red hematite, which is super cool. Uh, really different. Um, but this, you know, sits up really nice like this. It's just like 
bright yellow limonite phantoms like wow in clear quartz most of the limonite that i've seen before like from dalnagors for example is like you can't see it's not transparent is that the largest point uh the last one yeah that's the largest point i'll show you the last one and you can make your decision this one is 75 it probably is the largest single point of any of the ones. The other, the next one has a point that's almost that big. It's just a little bit more aesthetic and maybe more orange. But, and I'll show you that one now. Hand of the Mala, 75. I got you on that, 1264. Not even going to wait for the last one. Maybe you'll buy the last one also. <laughs> All right, here's the last one. This one is definitely my favorite. And you can see why. Uh, and also these grow on like the top of casts like that. And it's just super. This one's like orange. So compare this to the first one. You know, this one is nice. <laughs> Can I upgrade? <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. You, I thought you wanted to wait until the until my favorite one. Um, you're welcome to upgrade. I think you should buy them both. <laughs> this one is 90 but by all means, if you want to trade it out, that's fine. This is fantastic. Really, really aesthetic. All right. So is that a, an upgrade or are you going to take both of them? I know you say upgrade. So I'm assuming it's an upgrade. But if you do want both of them side by side, yeah. I... I um, I mean, you know, by all means, you do it. Do what's right for you. I personally would buy both of them because <laughs> they're awesome. They're just so amazing. So very different. All right, we've got both of them for you. They're, that's a great, great claim, Hannah. Thank you very much. I'm really happy that you have joined us and that you appreciate these. These are very awesome, brand new finds. Very awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so the next thing that I have to show you is just as awesome, but in a completely different way. Is another brand new find from Zambia. Middle piece Jetta. That's this one here. These are from Zambia. Um, I would have to ask my friends to get a better locality. Jetta, are you claiming this one? This is the middle piece. This one is twelve sixty three fifty five dollars. I'm assuming that's a claim, but I'm going to wait for you to confirm. These are from Zambia. They're from eastern Zambia somewhere. And I have to get a better locality for you to know if you need to know exactly where they're from. But they're super, super cool. I am the first person to import them. And I do have more to show you in the future. If you... Can you show more of the limonite? What does that mean? Like zooming in? Or you want to see more... Can I swap the one I have for this? Jetta, Jetta wants to swap. I think she claimed one of the earlier ones. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, Jetta, no problem. Uh, yeah, 1266. So she wants to She's change She's changing it. to this one. And these are both Hannah the Mala claims those okay. two. More pieces I can, but I don't have them prepared. I don't even have them opened yet. Um, so this one is back available. I switched you out, Jetta, not a problem. Kate, I will prepare some more for next week because they are awesome. Um, but I, I, I'm, I'm always preparing for the show like a couple hours before the show and it's like a scramble just to get enough rocks on the table. So I need to be more on top of the ball, but we have 30 employees and we run a pretty robust operation here 
And this live show thing is all manual, and as much as we love to do it, it's definitely a whole new process for us. And we are still learning how to integrate getting all of our live show stuff ready in addition to keeping our Etsy shops stocked. Uh, this is a good time to plug the Etsy shops. We have a top 100 Etsy shop in the world. And we have 228,000 sales and 57,000 feedback in a span of less than six years. And we also have a second Etsy shop, which has taken off and gone bananas. And it's only been open for the year in January. And we already have 18,000 sales. And we are off to the races. We're shipping between 150 and 250 packages a day, seven days a week. Uh, so if you haven't been to our Etsy shops, by all means, there's tons of stuff there and you can combine anything that you purchased tonight with some stuff on Etsy and we'll figure out a way to make it so that you can have uh, compatible shipping. And I really recommend going and checking out our Etsy shops. Anyways, that's my plug for Etsy. Next, we have brand new Japan Law Twin Crystals. Uh, Japan Law Twin is named Japan Law Twin because it was first found in Japan. Uh, it's law because it's a specific habit of twinning. Uh, twinning is not what most people think. Like, for example, like a lot of people would think that this is a twin. Just because it's two crystals, that is not a twin. A lot of people would think that this is a twin. This is not a twin. This is just two crystals that are conjoined. A twin is actually one crystal that grows, two crystals that grow together from the same axis. There's different types of twins. And Japan Law Twin always looks like Vs where there's like a, not always, but there's a center line and the twin grows in both directions off that line, if I can keep it in focus. So this is a brand new find from Zambia. Um, this one doesn't have phantoms, but there's a bunch that have clay phantoms in them, which is totally new. I've never seen a Japan Law Crystal that does this. You can see how it's got the lines and the striations going this way and this way. This is a really unique habit. It does happen in lots of places around the world, um, but it's still very desirable. And people who are really into quartz crystals are all about Japan Law Twins. Um, most of them usually don't have phantoms. Uh, this one's $25, and let me show you one. This is where we're starting. Yeah, I've got lots of twins, Hannah. We're going to show 11 of them tonight, and do I have other Japan Law twins? Yes, I have. I have some from other localities, but this locality is just like head and shoulders, the, my favorite, and if not the best uh, Japan Law twin locality in the world. It's new. It's not very common. Uh, these... This is a partial throwing stones. Whee! Um, so this is a partial phantom. This is like, it gets a lot better than this. I'm kind of going from uh, least to greatest in this lot here. Um, so be patient with me. Yes, this is very close to the citrine Japan Law Twin deposit, but it is not the citrine deposit. So that one's 35. This one is also... 35. This is without phantoms. We're going to get into the phantoms because I have a few of these to show you. And that one is 35. And okay, so small but sweet. Check this out. How cool is that? This is a clay phantom growing in a completely different shape as the outer quartz. Like, this is, I don't, it's not like, with Gwindle Quartzes, they have open and closed. I don't know if they technically have that with this, with Japan Log Twins, but when it goes all the way out like here, I would call it open, and then and they could be closed where it has this um, solid line where it's like actually grows square. So yeah, oh, there's so many Japan Log Twins that are hearts. This is, it's a small crystal, but it... <laughs> but small and amazing and the hair comes for free and so this one is fifty dollars that is a very solid phantom they're not all that solid that one goes up the entire almost the entire crystal and that piece is just super 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 
And I got a little bit out of order here. I was going to go from least to greatest, but come on, stop focusing on the background. So the luster and the clarity on this is really good. And the geometry is really good. The line is really good. <clears throat> the more defined the line is in the middle, the more desirable it is also. This one's not terribly defined. It's not very common for there to be a really solid line in the middle, but that is something that um, twin collectors look for. And it's got a little bit of damage there. Um, my favorite is probably at the end. Um, actually... Now, I'll, I'm going in order of least expensive to most expensive. My favorite one is going to be coming up in a few. And I'll show you why. And there's a reason. The reason why, right, there's a couple really interesting factors going on here. So, again, I'm not sure if this is technical. All right, so with Gwindle Quartz. All right, hold on. Let me. Uh, so, T and Me Forever, I got you with that one. 1253, T and Me Forever. So with Gwindle Quartz, they have what's called open and closed. And a closed, let me zoom out, a closed Gwindle has like solid lines, like uh, very solid outer lines, whereas when it's open, it kind of goes uh, outside of the lines. So I'm not sure if it's technical that Japan Law Crystals do the same, but look at this. So this would be closed on one side and open on the other side. And that's how they would define a Gwindle Quartz. This would be half closed. So... Again, I don't know if it's technical on the morphology and the crystallography to call this open, open here and closed here. Uh, I only have one palisite meteorite. No, I have some jewelry on my Etsy shop, Joseph. It's okay. Um, I don't have any to show you tonight, though, on my live shows. I don't have a lot of that. In, but the palisites that I do have, I have pendants on my Etsy shop. So this is, a, this is Clay Phantoms. Uh, palisite meteorite has olivine, uh, which is peridot, like segments. It's like metal with like segments. Um, we can talk about that some other time. So this is kind of like a phantom here. It's like kind of potchy. So this I would call half closed, half open, which is really weird. Um, the guy who's asking for my phone number, that's probably going to get you banned. So uh, be respectful, please. Yeah, no, we're not discussing anything. I don't take any solicitations, so you can leave now. Thanks. Um, Twelve fifty-five, sixty dollars on this one. I call this one odd because it's opened and closed. Super cool. Um, Hand of the Mala. That one's one of my favorites. And my other favorite. This is not it, but this is super cool. So. This has got a clay phantom that's like partial. It's got like the line here and the line here, and then it's only partially clay. And that one's super neat. Very different, these clay inclusions. Clay phantoms are really abnormal. This is the only place I've ever seen like true included phantoms in Japan Law Twins. This one's 60 bucks. And this one is like, oh, wait, no, this one, I haven't done this one yet. Uh, so, actually, I guess this one was sitting there out of order. So this one's Clay Phantom. This is a smaller one. Check this out. It's super cool. This is about this size. It's got a little blemish here. And the price reflects it, but that's got a really awesome Phantom. That one's 35 Uh, I was describing was a Gwindle Quartz, G-W-I-N-D-E-L, is how I was kind of referencing the open and closed. Nizya, I see you, 1257 is your claim. Thank you very much, Nizya 6T, Nicole. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, so this one is really weird. Um, unfortunately, it does have a little bit of damage, but check this out. Uh, the bluish, hold on, hold on, the bluish quartz points. Name of the crystal you showed right before this series. Twins. 
bluish. Oh, did you not see those? Gotcha. These are called Marimo. These are from Japan. Uh, these are included with Tremolite and Cookite and maybe some other. No, it's not Indicolite. These are in the Asbestos uh, Actinolite family. These are from Japan, and that's what makes them special. Uh, the mine is closed. Uh, they, they also have growth interference patterns. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go back for Hannah for a second here. Zachary, the yellow quartzes are limonite phantoms. I can show you those too. So, Hannah, I have three Marimo Japanese crystals. Uh, this one is the best one that I have to show. This is a pretty big one for... Uh, I would consider that a single point. If you don't like that, then that's not a single point, but that's sort of just like a sidecar. I do have singles. We can talk about... I don't mind being sidetracked. I like going back all the time. Um, I have more of these. I can show you these in direct message, or if you really like this one, um, if you don't like this because that keeps it from being a single, I can break it off for you. <coughs> just kidding. Another name for the Marama Quartz? No, it's just... Um, I do have singles, Hannah. We can discuss that one after the show or in direct message. I do have some nice singles I can show you there. So um, send me a direct message and I will get to you either after the show or tomorrow. Um, really quick, Zachary, we'll go back to the yellow crystals. This is uh, Limonite Phantoms included in quartz. It's a new find from Zambia. And that one is 35. And Marimo, M-A-R-I-M-O. So, Zachary, I'm giving you a recap here. This one is 35. This is a new find. Uh, you can see the limonite is mimicking the crystals like that. And it's super, super cool. And the last one, this one is 55. And you can see the phantoms here. Very unique. Nobody else has them. I'm the first person to bring them to market, as far as I know. And that was the Limonite phantoms. So back to the Japan Law Crystals. Hannah, I know I have one here that you're going to love. It's my favorite. Uh, the two after this are probably my favorite, but this is so weird. Um, this one would probably be my favorite. It does have a little bit of damage. And it's kind of unfortunate they don't really take as much care with this locality as I would appreciate them to do. But that's Africa for you. Sometimes they just throw it all in a bag and it's really sad. And some of the twins that I've seen that were broken really make me want to cry. Um, but this one's super cool. Like, I don't even know what it is. I don't know how to describe this, but it's got like a moon here going on and like round. Why is it round? Like all the rest of them were phantoms. And this does have phantom. You can see the phantom line. And here we go, throwing stones. And so there's a phantom line in there. And, but this is like Mickey Mouse. I guess it's like a betroidal. I mean, it's, but Batrioidal is kind of like three dimensional round. So, I don't really know why, I don't know what's going on here, but it's really cool. And if that did not have a broken tip, that would be $250 in a heartbeat. So price is reflective of the fact that it does have a smash. But I personally think that the internal part of it is like super cool and it's still worthy of use for energy and it's just pretty cool. Okay, so last two of the Japan Law Twins. This one is Czech, Checkmate. And this one is pretty darn good. It has Phantom here. And it's got a partial Phantom there. And it's just, it's got a really good line in the center. There's the phantom there. Just do it. Yeah, it's the Nike swoosh. Uh -huh. Except, uh -huh. screw Nike. This is cooler than Nike. That one is 90 bucks. 12 
super 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 cool crystal uh, i love how they do that where it grows like longer on one side than the other it's not super common but it does happen with japan lots wins and last but not least this one i think is my favorite one and this is super weird and the reason it's super weird is because the crystal this location does weird formations with japan lots wins so like at first Yes, these are quartzes, Florc. At first, I thought this was an attachment point, but you can see the growth right there. That's a terminal face. All of that stuff right in there is a terminal face. So this is like, I don't even know what to call it. It's like deformed Japan Law Twin, but like, it's the crystallography doesn't make any sense. This locality is the one place that does this. I've never seen another locality do this where it's not just like a standard V. I don't even know what to call this. This is just weird is what I call it. But it's also got this awesome, awesome full phantom. And yeah, it's super cool. I call this one odd phantom. That one's 75. That should probably be more expensive, but... It is what it is. It's about this size. Uh, these are from Zambia. It's a new find. And, yep, if y'all don't claim that one, I'm going to put that one on the website for probably 150 So that is all the Japan Law Twins that I have to show you tonight. I do have some more. Um, but I can't show everything in one night, so... Uh, it's kind of like a key. Yeah, it's a Japan law with a key. Sort of, but I'm not sure it's actually a crystal that attached there. So, Hannah the Mala. I would be surprised if you didn't claim one of those, but by all means, you might be a very particular Japan Law Twin collector, and if those don't do it for you, then I understand. Or you got kicked off. <laughs> Stinking Instagram. Like more traditional. Yeah, I understand. These are weird. They're definitely weird ones. Um, I like the oddities. Uh, I like traditional ones, too, by all means. So what's the next fave of mine, Crystal, you will show? Um, I can pick out a fave of mine from this next batch. So there goes the Japan Law Twins. If anybody wants to claim one of those, they'll be over there. I can go, go back and show them again. If you don't know or understand Japan Law Twin Crystals, I get it. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, hopefully you learned something tonight. Uh, those are some really special, very odd crystals for Japan Law Twins. All right, next up we have from 2003, we have Fire Quartz from Madagascar. And they have been finding this stuff since then. But they didn't always, they don't always find them like this. Like, this is a single. A lot of the, the rest of them are clusters. This is the only single. Uh, Hannah, if you are interested in a single, this is the only one. All the rest of them that I have to show are clusters. Very specific measurements. Cool. Right on. Sort of a purist. Yeah, I understand. Some people like it traditional, some people like it weird. I can go both ways. It doesn't really matter. I like it all. Quartz is so amazing. There's a never, it's a never ending joy to find new amazing things from the crystal world. You're a Virgo. Of course you're a purist. You're a Virgo. I have four Scorpios. I have four planets in Scorpio, so I can get a little crazy. <laughs> So here's the single. 
This is the only single that I have. It is like, I don't know, three inches, two and a half inches. And this one is $80. Here's the SKU 939. These are from 2003 from Madagascar Fire Quartz. Also called Harlequin. All right, Hannah, I got it for you. For the Virgo traditionalists, I'm going to have to start making sure that I don't only offer weird crystals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like them all. Like I said, traditional singles and clusters. I'm glad you claimed that one because that is the only single that I have in this group. All the rest of them look like this. Well, they all look different, but they're all groups like this. Uh, so, that was correct. It's the, the stickers on the side of the crystal. Uh, that's just a single point. Uh, I don't know. Does it have a does it have a a shape that might be considered a Dow crystal? Let me see. It looks kind of like a Dow. Seven three seven three seven three. Where it's seven faces, three faces. Wait, is that three? No, yeah, that's more than even. three. Yeah, it's almost. Plus, there's an I don't play well together. <laughs> All right, so anyways, back to the clusters. So you're gonna have to sit through this uh, whole box of clusters here, Hannah. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. there's 12, 12 more. Um, so 2003, these don't always come in clusters. Uh, a friend of mine like got to high grade and pick all of the really aesthetic ones and the, he kept them in storage for like 15 years and I bought these from him like Three or four years ago. It was probably four years ago. Um, yeah, so anyways, if you guys are more into the singles, some of you guys, some people like singles and some don't, so I'm going to keep moving. That one was $80. And, but you can see we start to get really aesthetic, so check this out. How many times have you seen like fire quartz that does like that? That one's 90 and it does have a skew 936 and these were already priced from like when i used to do shows like i probably have had these priced for like five years and it's sitting in a box just waiting for you guys waiting for live shows and this one is i think the most expensive one If they're still in the matrix, do the crystals still grow? Uh, that's debatable. Uh, if they're in solution underground, yeah, they can definitely still grow. I'm not really sure if they stop and start. Some people think the crystals still grow, like this one's still growing. I mean, I, you know, I don't necessarily see them grow. Maybe they grow so slowly that we can't see it. But I, I've definitely had people claim that like a crystal ended up with more inclusion than it did when they first bought it and... You know, whatever floats their boat, I'm not necessarily going to say that that's possible or not. But, you know, people have all kinds of weird experiences with crystals, so anything's possible. So this is a really nice aesthetic crystal. It sets up like that. And it's got really nice inclusions, you can see there. That one is 937. Is the skew, and everything else is under 200. Uh, this one is a nice double crystal, and you can see the inclusions. This is harlequin, uh, it's, it's hematite, people call it lipidocrosite. It's technically not correct, but it's got a different energy to it when it's got the red needles like this. So if you want to call it lipidocrosite, I'm not going to complain. It's, uh, it definitely has been proven to be hematite. Uh, I had a conversation with John White, who was the ex-curator of the Smithsonian, and he said that they had done all kinds of tests and that everything was hematite. All the stuff that we think in there is all these different minerals is all hematite. Most of it. So he's a pretty smart guy. I was like, all right, sweet. Glad I learned something. So that one's 110. That one's 938. I'm making a mess here. 
Native Beach Bum, thanks for being here. That one just kind of blew your mind. Sweet. Well, let's keep blowing your mind. This one's a twin. That one is a twin. It shares this. They call this one a tantric twin because it shares that line right there. This one is 100. And it's got all kinds of hematite, lipidocrosite on the inside. It's got some nice growth on the side. And that one is $9.31, $100. Bucks. Tantric Twin. These are all from 2003. These are all like the best aesthetic groups and clusters uh, from that time period. And that's when they found the majority of, the, of these. They only really find singles now. I haven't seen clusters in a while. I had little, little things, but not like this. Tip, tip, tip. I don't know what you mean. Tip. I think show it. Tip. Show the tip. Sorry. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Tip. Tip, 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 tip. Tip, 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 tip. Tip's good on that one. It's got nice and heavily inclusions. Let me examine the tip. T and me forever. Nine, one, three, one, three. Sold. That's the one you want? I assume nine three one. Did you get any? Did you get a good view of the tip? Wait. Yeah, she typoed it, but this is definitely the one that she's talking about. Did you get a good view? It's good. No damage. Really aesthetic. Lots of inclusions. I got it for you, sweetheart. Thank you very much. T and me forever. I could sing a song about your name. I just did. Wee. All right. That one's 120. And 932. It's nice and aesthetic. Uh, it does have a missing point right there. Uh, but it's a really good cluster. And, ooh, this one, this one might be my favorite. No, this one actually is pretty good, too. I might have two favorites in here. Well, actually, no, no, I might have three favorites. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't know. There's four really good ones in here. These are all really good for aesthetics. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do those last. Um, so the four, there's four with really good aesthetics for clusters where it's just got good balance and good, um, what do you call it? So this one is pretty basic and it's not quite as included, but it's also really beautiful. Mm, sorry to hear about your friend. And yeah. She might howl. All right. So there's that one. And here's another Tantric Twin. Oh, this one has a bag. Look at that. Here's another Twin. Brindle Pug Tasha. Gotcha. So this one is 100. This is an awesome, awesome Tantric Twin as well. This one has lots of inclusions. And that solid line that goes all the way down to the bottom is what makes that a twin. I like to call these hugging twins where they're like sort of, it's a side hug kind of deal. That one's 894, 100 bucks. Okay, now the four remaining are for the cluster people. I don't know if we have any cluster people tonight. You guys are all like single points, bro. Clusters are lame. But you know what I like about, I mean, don't get me wrong. I have single points in my collection and I have a section of only single points. And I love single points. There's, It's an amazing thing to collect. And I understand why some people just hone in on that. Like sometimes I only buy single points too. However clusters you start to get when you start to get into dimension and like three-dimensional stuff and like the artistic expression of how 
earth paints, you know, it gets really exciting too. So maybe one day I'll convert you guys, maybe not Hannah, but some of you other guys. <laughs> like when you get into aesthetics, it's just another dimension that you don't have with singles. Now you can have aesthetics with singles, but like you can't, have aesthetics if you don't have three dimensions like this kind of stuff so the next four are fantastic when it comes to aesthetics you know this one is getting there i would i would say like this my wife and i have a really good eye for aesthetics she's a visual artist and she can just pick out the aesthetics and i just i'm more of a musical artist but i uh, have a natural ability to also see and pick out the aesthetics and so some of these are really amazing uh, you can see this one here it's just like a nice combination the aesthetics are so so on this one i really like this though look at this all this side growth here and this one's just loaded with hematite and side growth here loaded with hematite mm -hmm. uh, this one the point on this one is problematic, but still super loaded, super loaded. Just fantastic. I love the look of clusters. Distracting when meditating. Yeah, because you want to like dive in and be like, whoa, look at all that aesthetic, man. And it's just like, shut up, mind. Get into there and you just like meditate, you know. You try to hold it and the cluster's like, it, it distracts your mind. I know it's because you got that monkey mind, Flork, and you got to like take it under control in your meditation. You should buy clusters because they're distracting. And distraction and meditation is a very important tool. It's like in India. When I went to India, we were studying yoga and in the hall, they, we would have this like silent time. We were doing... Uh, yoga nidra where it's like the yoga of sleep like after doing like a three-hour class we like totally wiped out and we do this yoga nidra where we've just like gone into this crazy deep space and there's these little kids that are like poking their heads and through the hole in the wall being like ah! and it's just like oh my god i'm trying to meditate and there's like kids outside that are intentionally yelling at us because and i'm sitting there like well this is just the distraction and the, the, that's, you know, how well can you meditate? You know, if you can't meditate with distraction, then you got to meditate harder <laughs> as if there's such a thing. <laughs> meditate harder. It's funny though, you know, like there's like serious yogis that would go into um, New York City and just sit in the middle of the city, like in the chaos and just meditate, you know, because that's like, a, you know, the distraction situation. If you have a distraction and you can like, quiet your mind and really focus through the distraction, then the distraction actually is making you stronger in your meditation. So that is my compelling reason for you to consider buying clusters instead of only singles, Flork, because now your meditation practice will totally improve because you should buy spiky ones that'll cut your fingers, you know, so that you're like holding it. You're like, oh, shit, man, it's cutting my finger. I'm trying to meditate and I'm bleeding everywhere. And it's just like, yes, meditate on the blood, Flork. Meditate on the blood. I'm so fun. <laughs> my wife is like, you're an idiot, man. Why don't you shut up? Um, anyway, so this is pretty aesthetic too. And clusters are good for meditation because they're distracting and distraction is good for meditation, makes you stronger. So y'all need to stop collecting single points and buy these clusters. How's that for marketing? That has to be the best marketing you've ever heard ever. You need to meditate harder. Okay. Meditate harder, buy clusters that cut your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I mean, if that's not like the best spiritual marketing for crystals ever, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Throwing stones to make sure it says meditate harder with the icosahedron. Yeah, exactly. Meditate harder with the icosahedron. All right, this is the one. This is the one, you guys. Check this out. Look at this cluster. Look at how aesthetic this is. It's almost a Japan Law Twin. Wee! Look, this is the most distracting meditation tool of all time. Like, all right, I'm going to meditate and I'm going to go so deep. Ready? Om Shem 
Shanti. Om Shem Shanti. Om Shem Shanti. All right, I got to do my Om Shem Shantis because that's the uh, the mantra to Saturn. And like the Saturn mantra is super, super important right now because Saturn is in retrograde. Sold the shirt. Ha ha ha. 20, 120. Duh. What? What are you talking about? So did you, are you, I'm confused. Are you buying a rock? Are you selling the shirt? You want this one? You want this one, my friend? $120. Duh. It is the best one for you. I will send you a free shirt. You can go with it. Anyways, Om Shem Shanti uh, is the mantra to Saturn. And Saturn's in retrograde right now. And if you don't clean your shit up. Oh, this one. Duh. 120, Rusty. Jeez, it's in your freaking hand. Like, don't be an idiot. All right. T and me, you got that one. I'm going to keep telling my story while I'm not even paying attention to you. But... I paid attention to you enough to realize that uh, the one that you wanted was in my hand. I was trying to meditate. You were being a distraction. I had a quartz crystal in my hand. And obviously, a distraction is the one that is going to make me a harder meditator. I'm going to meditate my way all the way to the top of the Mohs scale. Um, Yeah, so Om Shem Shanti is the Saturn uh, mantra that I've been singing because the Saturn, where Saturn's in retrograde. And if you get your stuff in order while Saturn is in retrograde and you clean up your act and you get in alignment and you come straight with authority and you do lots of uh, cleaning up of your stuff, then Saturn will uh, reward you. And if you don't, Saturn's going to kick your ass. So, there's your Om Sham Shanti. There's all of the Harlequin crystals of the evening. There are no more. T and me, you got my favorite one. Um, awesome stuff. Uh, I know... I tried to convince Flork that, you know, you know, if you're going to meditate, you really need a cluster because a, a cluster that cuts you is a very good meditation tool. And I'm going to shut up now. Okay. Recap. Look at the aesthetics of this. Yep. There you go. There you go. Saturn's kicking our ass. Yeah, no, I'm I'm doing my my part to get my uh stuff in order for Saturn. And if you sing that mantra, Saturn will tell you how to clean up your act. And we have until October eleventh, so you've got some time to get your shit together so Saturn don't kick your ass. Alright. I think I've shown them all again. They've got Prices on them. For those of you that are lurkers that are like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? Um, I'm sorry, but you should stick around. I swear I'm not an idiot all the time. Uh, here, I'll do this. Om Shem. Come on. Shanti. Om Shem Shanti. You can find it on YouTube as well. There's like people that sing it for like an hour and stuff. It's pretty simple, um, but it's a good one. Saturn will definitely show you how to get your stuff together during retrograde. And I'm hoping to be rewarded because Saturn is the, is the governance, uh, the planet of governing and authority and whatnot. So if you get your shit in order... Uh, before retrograde is over, then you can be rewarded. And if you don't, then Saturn's going to kick your ass. So I've been focusing on it because I've got some cleaning up that I need to do. And after I clean up my stuff, I know that in my astrological chart, there's some pretty ridiculous rewards that are coming. Like I have an alignment coming in March next year that is like super crazy rare. That doesn't happen very often for anybody's chart. And I... 
I'm really excited about that because I think there's going to be some pretty ridiculously amazing uh, rocks that come my way next year. And I'm not going to give away any of my secrets, but you guys are going to be really excited when I pull out all the stops and uh, manifest my destiny. And everybody's, everybody's going to benefit if I am successful in my plans to accomplish some pretty amazing things. I have big plans. And the universe is definitely aligning in my favor so that I can make these plans a reality. And so let's all give me some good positive energy to clean up my shit and manifest my destiny because there's some big stuff that's coming my way and everybody that loves crystals is going to be very excited about it because there's going to be some amazing amazing stuff i have a feeling that is going to be coming out of the ground and that's all i'm going to say all right so this is your harlequin meditation cluster group this is the group that if i talk in asmr You'll want to meditate harder. If you get a cluster that cuts your hand, it's a distraction that's really good for your meditative practice. T and me forever, 40 sold. I'm glad that you grabbed that one because I totally forgot uh, it was hiding. It was like in the box like this and I didn't even see it. And then I was like, oh, there's one more. So I got you that one too. Thank you very much. Look at how cute that is. Oh, it's so cute. Here, let me zoom in for you. Look at this. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. It's so cute. cute. Talking about marimo? You need a marimo or a mojito? <laughs> <laughs> mimito. I need a mimito. Hey, we're going to Italian. Hey, we, we need a mimito. Okay. Going once, going twice. I'm moving these out of the way. It might be time to talk a little bit crazy again. Super Felicia. Let's not get too crazy now. Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. Nicole, you, you, you're moving them, moving them some things over. Yes, we, we, we run out of space. Maybe I go this way. I don't have too many rocks left to show you, but I can take some from the other day that did not get shown. Okie dokie, 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 dokie. Okay, really quick. I've got a couple of these. I am not funny. I am very square. I do not have a sense of humor. <laughs> you can get crazy, Tian Me, You have already bought everything. How am I going to get more crazy than you? You are like, I show you one. You're like, I take it, I take it. Oh my God, you're like only, you take all the good ones. You need to leave something for someone else. Thank you very much. Okay, 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 okay. I promise I will not be funny anymore. I will be very not funny. This is amphibole with with hematite inside crystal quartz and it is polished. How are you going to pay me? I don't know. Do you have any good rocks I need? You can pay me in the good rocks. Just kidding. I have too many rocks. I didn't say that. You need to cancel that. I said nothing. Go and meditate with your cluster and cut your hand and very good. You will have precious time meditate. <laughs> oh my God, what is happening? Somebody get him off the high rocker. Okay, okay, okay. This one, Amphibol Quartz is $70. This is 940 is the skew. It is from Brazil. It is polished on all the sides. It's not Polish. It is Brazilian. Old stock, yes, this is very old. This is shit, I don't know, at least five years old, maybe longer. I really don't even know. This is my buddy Sheldon's handwriting. So this was, he priced that when he was in Tucson. That was at least five years ago. I don't even know where, I, I don't remember where I got this rock. Honestly, I don't even remember buying this rock. <laughs> There you go, $940, $70. It is old stock. When it says it's old stock, that means you have to buy it. <laughs> this one is also old. Should be $120, oh my God. 
I will raise the price right now. Ready? Okay, 120. 120. See, that says 120. It says FO. I don't want to repeat what FO stands for in English because it's very rude. And I can't say it, but. Hannah's right, it should be 120, but it says 70. So if you like it, you should buy it now before I change the price. <laughs> before I F O. Before I F off, man. Oh, we have to stop. I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. Uno más. ¿Qué es eso? Esto es cristale con anfibol. Estoy tratando de morirte. Sí, tienes completamente. Ahora es, es, es el tiempo para hablar con Miguel. Miguel, Miguel, compréndeme completamente. But I didn't talk like Italian, and then it's very confused. <laughs> Dice, esto, este cristal es en amphibole. Amphibole con pizza. Habla español también, sí, like italiano, español, italiano, es el, el lo mismo tiempo, sí, ¿por qué no? Pronto, pronto. Ay, 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 yes, this is a comedy show. This is where you need to buy tickets. I will charge tickets. You don't need to buy rock, but you have to buy tickets. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't have a price. I don't know how to price it. You can tell me how much it costs. Hannah Mala, you tell me the price. <laughs> Hannah Mala priced the crystal and you must buy. When she says to buy, she is expert, a rock expert from, uh, from the, where are you from? <laughs> Where are you from, my friend? It's free. No, it's not free. It's it's one. It's infinite dollars. See, infinite. There's many lines. One, two. You count the line. How much is the line? Seventy dollar. No, it's not seventy. Come on, the other one's seventy. Oh, that's a claim. I know you want this one. You say seventy. This is yours. T and me. I put in your collection now. <laughs> ninety-eight dollar. Okay, ninety-eight dollar. A very good for you price. 98 rupees. Not good price for me. 110. Oh, this is like auction. Very good. Somebody says seven. Now it's 98. Now it's 110. Okay, Hannah, your turn. She, the, your next bid, you, take, you say 130, then you buy. It's good for you. Good for you, better for me. Best price for you, my friend. Look, all it has the things. Every line is worth at least $1. One, two... Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, nueve, diez. You're trying to bid. Oh, my goodness. There's someone else here laughing at me. Mischief. Oh, my God. She's new. She's laughing. She's never been here before. She's like, what are you doing? You're being stupid. Why are you so funny? Funny looking. I take off my shirt. I show, I'm, show, I'm very funny looking. Okay. T and me, you want for 110? If you want for 110, you need to say, if you are just joke, it's fine with me. But if you want to buy, you can have it. Everybody's laughing at me. I'm going to cry. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. It's very rude. <laughs> okay, T and me. Sí, amigo. 110 para ti. Muchísimas gracias, amiga. Mucho, mucho, mucho gusto. Okay, doke. T and me, 110. They're having an auction. You know, maybe we should do some auctions in the future. So you guys are great. Did she also take 70? Or no? No, that was a bid. <laughs> I don't think yeah. she took that one. I was, being, I was being stupid. I don't think you didn't buy that one, right? You didn't want that one. You wanted the, the, the 110 one. Okay, doke. It's like a comedy show. Everybody laughed at me. <laughs> Oh man, now this guy is coming. Oh my god. Amphibol is a family of minerals that is. Mm, asbestos is in the amphibole category. It's mainly just like. It's like hair. Amphibole means hair. It's like hair inside of quartz. 
you know, it's like them Rebekite and then and, and Actinolite and Tremolite. And it's just like all them quartzes with them hairs in it. See, like this is Invisible Light. You ever seen this one? This is the most expensive Invisible Light I've ever seen. This one's my favorite. Y'all should buy it. <laughs> this one, uh, we can bid on this. How much? $10. We'll start. Ready? Nope, it's not Rotel. Rotel, Rotel, Rotel is is titanium dioxide. That's the, that, that's like metal. Titanium's metal. There's some some hairs. It's like them hairs, you know. And Rotel doesn't turn very much. It's, it's like goes in a straight line. Fifteen, fifteen. Come on, you need to go higher than that. This is the best quality invisible light. You know how I know? Cause you can't see it. It's the most invisible you've ever darn seen. <laughs> Oh my God, what's happening here? I'm gonna lose my mind. Rudels, yeah, you ever heard of Rudels? That's how we say it down here in the South. It's called Rudels. Man, y'all crazy? If you're gonna bid, at least at least let me give you something here. Here, let's check this one out. This one here. Try this one. This is this one's even higher quality. This one. Hair. It's a hair quality. This one. This one's double terminated, invisible light. Look at that. I didn't bite my nails. I bite my nails for 35 years, and I stopped last year out of the blue. Y'all should be happy because my, my fingernails used to look like shit. And everybody would make fun of me. I'd make videos. I'd post on Facebook, and they'd be like, Ew, God, look at your nails. You need to do something about it. Man, I'm showing you like $10,000 quartz crystals. Best damn thing you ever seen. All you can say is my fucking nails are gross, man. Shit. $50 comes with the label. Plenty of invisible light, I swear. Look, here, I'm going to sell my fingernails now. I'll cut that one off right there and send you a label with that one. Be like, I cut, I bit my fingernails for 35 years, and I'm going to give you that one. You can buy it. It'll come with a label. The label is worth everything. I'll tell you what. Negative $40 with those. Man, them's pretty nails. What are you talking about? You should see them 35 years ago. See, that one's pretty bad. I didn't. I need to work on that one. I'll send you some videos from two years ago. You'd be like, holy shit, what the hell did you do to your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Michelle's a nail tech. Shit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear gloves from now on. <laughs> She's probably like, gosh, man, you look terrible. <laughs> no you know what? You could come and do my nails for me. You could put some fancy glitter on there and shit. That'd be really fun. Oh, God, we only got 12 minutes left. Well, I'm just going to be stupid then. Let's, let's sell some more invisible. I ain't no more rocks to see. $50 claim. Oh, nail tonight. Shit. Pretty rocks. All right, I'm, here, let me break it off for you. Here. Hey, Michelle, watch this. <laughs> Oh, man, she'd probably die. She'd be like, man, what are you doing here? Check that one out. Oh, God, I'm going to embarrass myself. I'm going to get rid of my hands. Shit, I'm going to show you some rocks now. I'm fucking fingernails. Y'all crazy. Okay, let's recap. There's some rocks. and the Oh, there's wholesale. Shit, let me show you this wholesale. All right, well, y'all have probably already seen this, but some of y'all is new, so I'll show you again. Actually, no, wait. Oh, we got some big rocks. Shit, this is all new. Oh, man, here, I'm talking too much. Check this out. Look at there. Looky there. That there. That there's full right. Marmo. 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 We're going to run out of time. I got to show you the big rocks. Marmo. Okay, here's Marmo. That's the best one. $150. It's got them schmutzite and some tremolite and some dubolite. And it's got them things inside there that everybody wants. I don't have any more amphibole, Miguel. I'm sorry. I just had them two random pieces. I don't even know why they're there. I don't even know. I might have stolen from someone. <laughs> just kidding. I don't do that. You do that. That's dumb. You can't steal rocks because you're walking on their mother. That would be a real bad idea. Here's your marmo. Um, let me scroll back. Who was that? Kate. Here's your marmo number two. That one's 100. That ain't, that's not a twin, but that's two crystals there. It's grown together. It's got all them cookout balls on the outside there. And this is growth interfered on the side. It's great. Team, man, I can't give it a break. Come on now. Y'all are having so much fun. When I get kicked off in 10 minutes, you want me to come back? I'll come back for another hour. My wife will probably kill me, but I could talk about more rocks. I got more rocks to show you, but y'all got to come back. 
I will. I'll stay till another hour if you want, but only if you promise to come back and entertain me. Because when I come back at midnight, everybody from India comes on because it gives them a, uh, it gives them a notification. And then I've got 400 Indians, and I love Indians. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but they, they can be real, real pushy. Like that one guy, he just tried to bust up in there and sell me something right in the middle of my damn live show. And they all do that shit. So it's like, if y'all want me to come back after midnight, I'll come back for another hour, but you got to show up. If you don't want, then that's fine too. I'll just go to bed. I got a lot to do tomorrow. There's Marmo number three. Okay. Well, we got one. How many more is going to show up? Uh, Hannah, the next live show is going to be, I've had the most success on Friday nights and Sunday nights. And somebody asked about this. This is flow riding courts. You know what? Or courts. What the hell am I talking about? It ain't courts. Uh, so the best part about this carving here is it's polished. And most of the flow ride carvings that you see, they're real inexpensive. They're not polished. And this one, actually, I spent a bunch of money polishing. It probably cost $50 just to polish a darn thing. So this carving, look at this. It's like palm size in here. Let me get the light back here. It's clerts. That's right. Clerts. It's, it's, it's flow riding clerts. Actually, there ain't no clerts in there. Let me show you something here. There ain't no swastika, you know. People think that right there is bad. It's like, man, them Nazis, they turn that shit 45 degrees and they screwed it all up. That there's a spiritual symbol, man. It means that the, the Big Dipper up in the sky, it's different at, at all, every time of the year in the four seasons. That's what that means. It's, it's like astrological shit. But then the Nazis, man, they turned it 45 degrees and they fucked it all up. Now everybody thinks that that's something bad. And these people are dumb. They're like, oh, they're just watching to go on the boot. I don't want that shit. Y'all crazy. Okay, gosh, somebody asked me the price here. I'm going off. Uh, this one is $300. $300. And like I said, it cost me at least 50 bucks just to polish it. And usually they just oil it. That's right. It's got the highest karma. Highest karma you ever see. <laughs> Cletus. Cletus says he's got the highest karma you ever see. It's like a like he ever seed, you know, like Lemurian seed. All right, that one's three hundred. Buddha carving. It ain't got no sticker. I ain't even got a skew. I don't even know what to do with it, but somebody's gonna buy it. All right, we got there. Let me show you some other big things. Check this out. Oh, man, that's heavy. Holy Christmas. I'm right, careful with this. Check it out. That's like a skull. That's right. You get crystals. You get comedy. You get history lessons. Shit, I'll even give you disclosure and truth if you want. Last time we was talking about how the U.S. dollar wasn't backed by shit. And that we live in maritime law, but you know, we'll, we'll have to go in another time. You know, we don't have much time with it. We only got eight minutes left. But I will come back if y'all come back. But if you don't come back, I'm going to close the, uh, we, you know, when I start the video again, if I come back and y'all ain't here, I'm going to be like, shit, man. Why well, am I here? All my friends are gone. I'll come back, though. I, so I'm trying to figure out what this is because I get black tourmaline and larvikite and shungite all cut at the same time. And I think it's larvikite because it's got these things in here. Oh, I'm knocking the camera. See that right there? Mm -hmm. That's not a zit. That's like, it's, oh, it's a heart. Look at that. You see it? Oh, well, is it a heart? Oh, you, no. Come on. Come on, man. I'm moving around too fast. Here, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? All right. Cross-hatching. Anyways, this is a big darn skull. It's a gorilla skull. It's heavier than crap. I can barely hold it. It's like probably 10 pounds. And it's cut pretty good. See? Oh, there. That's one of them shiny zits again. Look. See? I think it's larvikite. See how it does that? I don't, black tourmaline don't do that. So this is a larvikite skull, you know, and larvikite is like what they make countertops out of. So you could like, you know, use this as a chopping block and cut your vegetables on it. Except that probably wouldn't be very good because it's not flat. All right, seven minutes. I only got one. One of y'all say it's going to come back. Am I going to come back? I know that there's only one. If y'all is going to come back for some more crystals and comedy and history lessons and shit, then I'll come back. Otherwise, I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, so there's a big old skull. 
Is it new mite? I have new mite this in skulls like this. I don't know if I sold them all, but I do. Wait, is it new mite? We do have new mite. Sorry, if it is, it's going to be copper night, not new mite like the crazy stuff from Greenland. They have an Indian new mite, which is co uh, copper night, new mite. It's practically the same thing, but you know, I had to stop calling it new mite because people were getting mad. So, yeah, don't try to cut the skull. You might curse yourself. You're like, I'll poke his eyes out. I'm getting tired. You all are making me cry. Okay, let's just relax and massage your forehead. Speak ASMR to you. Make you have a better afternoon, Mr. Skull. Look here, we're just going to rub your temples. Om Shem Shanti. Ah, oh, you always vote sleep. Yeah, I've got a lot to do tomorrow. I should probably go to sleep. Anyways, there's this big thing. I don't know if it's even... I don't even know what to price it. I don't even know what to price it. So, how am I going to price it? All right. Well, I think if... Well, I don't know. Let me show, let me show some of this wholesale stuff real quick. So, here's some Columbia Night. It's some good quality. I think I showed this before. There's 250 grams, $400. And here's a little bit lower quality, which the quality's all good. It's all uh, see-through and stuff, but this one's a little bit less round. And so we got wholesale Columbia night. And we got some Libyan Desert Glass. Here's another parcel. This is double A quality for $350 for 100 grams. And got some second grade. And Nicole, will you go get me that? Yeah. And I think I'm going to leave y'all. Oh, I should probably put my shirt back on. So don't freak out the, don't freak out the locals. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Flork. Appreciate you got your new mate. And let's see here. Comedy show. Oh, look at that. I got some sun today. Y'all ain't, most of y'all ain't here during the beginning of the show, I don't think. I don't see a bunch of new faces, so. I'm going to have a little meditation here. Make sure you grab the crystal that cuts your hand the most. Especially them clusters. Y'all got to learn to buy them clusters.
minutes and they're going to kick me off. I hate it. Why don't they just let me keep going? The whole break. Gotta go. Turn it back on, but it's not the same. It's breaking the energy. Ten seconds. They usually cut me off even before then. So we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for joining us. It'll be either Friday or Sunday or both.